two. There it is. Oh, up there it is. Up there it is. Up there it is. Let's go. Oh, there Take it Street is. Podcast, baby. Oh, there Off it the is. rails. You know what to do. Oh, there it is. We got oh, Queen Ella dropping oh, it. There it Hot, is. Hottest track, oh, 2021. Oh, there it oh, is. Oh, oh, oh. Don't oh. hurt him. Don't oh, hurt him. Oh. Oh, now we're going. Now we're going. Now we're going. H3H3 oh, H3 humor. Oh. Oh, there it is. Woo! Wow. Oh, there it is. Woo! Oh, there it is. The hottest. Oh, there it is. Remix. Oh, there it is. The oh, hottest. There it is. Let's go! Oh, there it is. Woo! Oh, there it is. Our, our she, neighbors are going to oh, call an ambulance if you oh, keep screaming is. like that. Although I appreciate oh, there the, it is. Oh, the hype. There it is. Yeah, if you guys hear this there track, it just know oh, it's the it hottest. Is. Oh, there it Exclusive is. remix. Oh, there it is. Ela Klein, 2021, oh, top in the charts, Billboard oh, number one. Oh, We're coming for you, Taylor oh, Swift. There There's a new oh, female there lead there coming oh, for your throne, Ela Klein. Oh, it is what it is. Oh, there it is. Off the rails. <laughs> You're oh, fucking out of breath, dude. Well, okay, let's just be honest. That's the second time we did it. Oh, you're giving away the game. You're giving away the game. Well. I have to explain why I'm so out of breath. I mean, I, I'm not in good shape. Don't get me wrong, but I'm particularly out of breath because we did that twice. Because the first time there was no audio. <laughs> wait, 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 we we missed the mark on that one. We may be overcompensating a little bit the second time. <laughs> <laughs> that was our best intro ever. We had to step it up. I do think, you think the second one was better. You no, do? the first no, one was, was just the first one was better. Mm, I don't know. Well, we'll never know. We'll never know. Welcome to Off the Rails, people. Love to have you here. Energy levels are high, clearly. Today, we're sponsored by Me Undies and Upstart. And I want to give a sh- quick shout out to the Queen Bee, the one and only. No, 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 no. Hit me with that whoop. There it is. Hell this, yeah. This is Eel Klein, oh, the hotly oh, anticipated oh, Looney Tunes X oh, Teddy Fresh is. drop is finally oh, here is. this Thursday oh, at 10 a.m. Zach, you want to oh, model off your jacket? Is. Oh, there it is. The TF oh, Looney Tunes Letterman wow. jacket. Oh, there it is. Boom. Oh, there it is. Show the back. Oh, there it is. Boom. How's it feel? Oh, How's it fit? It oh, there it is. Oh, the fit of it is, is amazing. It is oh, so high it quality. Is. Mm. It is. Oh, it's probably it is. my favorite jacket I own. Oh, Thank you, bro. It is, it is amazing. Oh, Thank you so much. I'm wearing the oh, bad boys tee. Oh, there it is. We redesigned the Looney Tunes characters to be wearing Teddy Fresh. We got the beanie. Oh, but the whole collection's is. fire. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. This Thursday, 10 a.m. Oh, there it is. Uh, get oh, you or your loved ones something beautiful just in time for the holidays, guys. Oh, uh, you can kill it. It is, it is. You can kill the music. Thank you. <laughs> you don't want to play a good thing out too much. Also, just a little reminder: Black Friday sales going on. You got hot deals like three panel hoodies still 50 percent off. You got small, medium, large sizes still. Wow! Just in time for the holiday. Holy shit! You know, the color block hoodies on sale. It's like 15% off. It's not crazy, but we never put it on sale. So this is your chance to get it discounted. Unbelievable. Yep. And uh, SpongeBob, 50% off. Again, small, medium, large. You got good sizes. It's all happening on teddyfresh.com. Support your queens, people. And uh, be there on Thursday, 10 a.m. Thank you. Happy holidays. Woo. Well, welcome to the show. We got a great one here. Um, lots of stuff to get to. For example, um, this apparently has been trending. Is it I laugh like a koala? Well, <laughs> I don't dispute it, I guess. I just, I don't, well, here, I'll let you guys watch. <laughs> 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 yeah, I hear it, I guess. I don't know. Sometimes I, I don't laugh that frequently, you know, hard. But when I do, I it's like I can't breathe. I'm like gasping <laughs> for air. So I guess it sounds like a koala, which is nice. I don't I don't mind being compared to a koala. Those, Those are a, adorable. Yeah. <laughs> adorable creatures. And the koala, like me, you know, lovable, 
but couldn't possibly exist without the collective support of the entire world to make them live. They're so dysfunctional as an animal. They literally eat one niche leaf, eucalyptus, which is already like a toxic, indigestible plant as it is. And these animals should be extinct, but they're not because people love them. Is that a good analogy for me? Maybe I'm not that lovable. Uh, you are very lovable. I'm just fact checking all those koala facts. Not that I don't. Fact check me, bitch. Yo, he is spitting koala facts. Che right fact now. check He's me. I know what the fuck. Go ahead, fact check Wait, me. Wait, a whole team back here. Dan, I'm, I'm Dan was looking too. I'm just telling you, dude. I koalas got my eat a variety of eucalypt leaves and few mm -hmm. other related tree species. That so, sounds pretty good. Yeah, I mean, you were you were mostly there. And tell me, and eucalyptus, toxic, hard to digest. I believe eucalyptus is toxic to humans. Clearly not to koalas. Well, I'm just spitting I mean, that would be now. really bad. Come on, guys. Question yeah. me on question me on things, but not my koala facts. <laughs> um, how's everyone doing? Good. Hanging in. Lovely. Looking at adorable pictures of koalas right now. I just can't stop looking at myself in the mirror in this jacket. It's just fucking dope. You do man. look good in it. Thank you. It, it's just it's it. Thank you. You're thank very you, welcome. Ethan. Thank, thank you. you. You're very welcome. AB, you want to show off your shirt? You always look better than me. Uh, it's the same shirt. That's white. arguable, but yeah, love it. You know, I like the shirt, and I didn't even realize that they're wearing Teddy Fresh until you just said it. Now I like it a lot more. That's pretty badass. Yeah, I'm surprised they let us do that because usually they don't let us fuck with the IP. Right. My the bad girls one is even doper though because you got mm -hmm. Taz all with the fat lips looking like sexy as hell, looking like a snack. Yeah. Tasmanian snack. Try to get the graphics. Uh, yeah. Can you message uh, someone from marketing or Lena to grab us some assets we can show? Yeah. Send us like 700 photos, please. Yep. You yeah. Got like, it. yeah, at least. They usually do. You got That's it. what they did last time. Thank you, guys. Um, my rash is pretty much gone. Yeah, you look better. I mean, I'm still a little blocky, but lots of progress. I was hitting the Benadryl hard, boy. <laughs> I was in like a twilight zone. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised they sell that shit over the counter because sleepy and horny. Do people must abuse that, right? Uh, yes, yes. Which we should tell our audience: do do not do that. Don't abuse. Benadryl. Don't abuse. Benadryl. I mean, when you can abuse anything. It's not people people get fucked up on cough syrup, and people know not to do that. Oh, I gotta fucking hold their hand and everything. Yes, don't overdose on Benadryl. <laughs> you know, that's a serious message. This is a message of peace and love. Still itchy though, but getting better. Not as blotchy as this guy still, even with a rash on my face. True. Brian Kavanaugh. Well, let's just get right into it. Um, collected some great memes here. Okay, this is this one's kind of hard to explain. It's kind of a deep cut. <laughs> But this thing was fucking. Can sad. I play this music even? Because it's kind of hard without it. Oh, we can get a taste. <laughs> so this guy, what he does <laughs> here, I'll I'll just mute it at this point. You can just mute it, yeah. So what this guy does, it's really interesting. He uploads like a hundred TikToks a day, doing the same dance to a meme, and that's his content. Sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't, but this one just seems like, okay, here's this dude, hero, love him, uh, Eitzaz Hassan, a 15-year-old Pakistani schoolboy, sacrifices life while preventing a suicide bomber from entering a school of 2,000 students. My father said, his father said, my son made his mother cry, but saved hundreds of mothers from crying for their children. Um, a very serious message and a, and a, wow, what a guy, right? <laughs> What does this tell you? <laughs> what is he doing? He's singing with this, sorrow. He's just, oh my God. Thank you, bro. <laughs> I just want to say thank you. Why is he so good at dancing, but though? The thing is, he <laughs> he does the same move on every video. So right. it's not like... he's got just that one move. It's not like, oh, this is my sad one. 15.8 million followers, this guy. Yeah, but... A lot of them don't hit. I mean, like, here's one with, because he uploads so much. Yeah, that video is from, like, three days ago, as of the recording of this episode. <clears throat> and he's posted 
quite literally like over a hundred TikToks since then. Yeah, so this one's from 17 hours ago to only has 5,000 likes. And again, it's just a meme and him dancing. Yeah. <laughs> so fucking Sick, weird. bro. But most of them are memes that are somewhat lighthearted. That one really stood out because it's just this horribly sad story. <laughs> They're like, six million Jews were killed in the Holocaust. Not only Jews, but communists, homosexuals, and gypsies all perished <laughs> in the chambers. And it's a sexual dance. <laughs> I guess you got to teach the kids however you can. Yeah, he's getting the word out, I guess. On the morning of 9-11, <laughs> two planes <laughs> hit the World Trade Center. People were jumping out the building. On fire. Perishing. <laughs> oh, shit. That's awesome. Yeah, why not? Let's let this guy educate our youth. Fuck it. They need to see a cool dude doing the robot and shit. Yep. <laughs> you know, damn, let's let's teach these kids something. Please. Here, here's one that's educational. It's uh, in Spanish. Por qué somos seres civilizados? Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, you guys. Yeah, I just thought this was an interesting account. I guess it's popular among... He, he's a Spanish speaker, so if you guys are... Spanish speakers, you've probably seen him. Probably oh, go shit. Follow. We got a little thirst trap. Jedi. Damn, dude. Wow. He's so committed, though. <laughs> Interesting guy, huh? <laughs> he is. He's a legend. Oh, I saw one where he reacted. Although let's not shout him out because... He'll he's, probably be he's, canceled. Yeah, he's probably a pedo or something. <laughs> I was like, you don't know about that guy? He's like a prolific predator. I can't believe you shouted him out. <laughs> I saw him reacting to really bad fan art that was funny, and he was like crying. Oh, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> and he starts like crying. <laughs> oh. I mean, it's nice that people draw you. I mean, but... He starts like crying. And I mean, when you think about that he makes a hundred of these a day, you know that he's not crying. Wow. It took his breath away. Look at that. Oh. He's doing the song, by the way. Of course. Uh -huh. Hey, hey. I, I mean, it's just, you know, it's flattering, but with peace and love, it's. Okay. Here's another weird ass video we saw. Jeff Bezos uh Jeff Bezos is doing some kind of weird um propaganda. This was trending, you said, Dan, you found this on trending. This is on YouTube's trending page. I was scrolling through it looking for some some juice for the show and saw the thumbnail. I was like, oh interesting. And saw that it had yes. a lot of views and um well, this is this isn't a direct attack on Ian. Jeff Bezos bans PowerPoints at Amazon. I mean, <laughs> here let's watch this. But this was trending for literally no reason. It has one point eight million views, and look at all this good PR for Daddy Bezos. Let's read the comments. Oh, okay, top comment is it seems like a nightmare to work under Jeff. Right, okay, I was going to point enough. out a lot of the uh, comments seem to be quite negative about it, but the like ratio is good. Overwhelming. Yeah. So, I don't know. I didn't find that this video really made him come across very well, which is, you know, was clearly the goal here. But oh, yeah, it's definitely a puff piece. Use the tactics of a warlord to discipline Amazon executives. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know that it's true. Like, who are you and how do you know this? Right. But anyway, here it is. Jeff Bezos used the tactics of a warlord to discipline Amazon executives. One morning, Bezos walked into a critical meeting with the senior executives. To his dismay, however, there had been TVs installed on the walls of the conference room. And it was safe to say that Bezos was outraged about this. The reason for it, Bezos had never allowed PowerPoint presentations at Amazon. He believes them to be the laziest way to communicate information and instead oh. has executives write concise six-page essays called narratives. Bezos ordered the TVs to be removed instantly, but left the TV bracket mounts on the wall 
for years to come. Just like an ancient warlord who collects the heads of his enemies, Bezos wanted his executives to be reminded of their mistake every day. So next time you have a big presentation, remember that. That's bad. That's horrible advice. Actually, I feel like he left the brackets on like a head on a pike. <laughs> As a reminder yes. to his enemy. Actually, I feel like there's no way this story's true. There's no fucking way you don't have a TV in a conference room, even if you hate PowerPoints, because you've got, what are they supposed to write? Excel sheets and spreadsheets and shit. I mean, pie charts. There's There are things you need a television for that aren't fucking uh, PowerPoints. And he'd rather read multiple six-page essays? I feel like this dude just made this up. Well, uh, from what I understand, the PowerPoint thing is true. Um, that, that element of it, of him not, you know, liking PowerPoints, but as far as, um, you know, driving his enemies from the lands and hearing the lamentations of the women and all of the other warlord shit, uh, seems like a stretch. Yeah, I mean, I understand not liking PowerPoints, uh, but, but also, what's wrong with PowerPoints? I think, Jeff, you got a fucking weird problem, dude. Has he seen Ian's PowerPoints? Yeah. He not clearly all, hasn't. Not all PowerPoints are lazy. Maybe your executives just need to step their shit up and take a course in PowerPoint production. Right. Slater style. I've seen some amazing PowerPoints in my time. Do you have anything you want to say to that, Ian? I mean, that's like an direct attack on you. I mean, I. it's Google Slides okay? I'd hope. Oh, that's true. Ian uses Google Slides. Oh, you don't Shh. fuck with PowerPoint? Oh. Wait, you well, said that. Sh well, he didn't directly confirm it, but... Um, oh. I'm just asking a question. <laughs> anyway, I, was, I, I don't know why that was trending, but shout-outs to our corporate overlords for uh, the propaganda. I think in the future he should, if somebody tries to bring in a PowerPoint, he should... Um, have you, are you familiar with the concept of uh, decimation that they used to do in ancient times? What does that mean? Well, they would take one in ten of uh, the troops as punishment, and the other nine would have to kill the tenth one. So I think he should just kind of, sort of like in Game of Thrones, where they all like surround and stab Jon Snow. Wow, what 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 would they have to do? What what army would want to kill their own soldiers? Well, ones that are doing PowerPoint slides. That's Decimation or uh, killing tenth soldier. Dan, who, forgive who me did for, that? Forgive me if I'm. I think it's the Romans. Romans. It was the Romans. Yeah. Forgive me if I'm off here, Dan. But to a certain dominance, didn't they uh, forcefully have sex with them too? Oh, in that. this act. I think well, that's just in your fantasy, I, I, my dude. <laughs> I'm gonna read that it to you right no now. That ain't no fantasy. I, I hold on. I gotta uh, that. I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> Decimation was a form of Roman discipline. Um, the discipline uh, was used. Every tenth man in a group was executed by members of his cohort. The discipline was used by senior commanders. Okay, there you go. Uh, to to punish cowardice, mutiny, desertion, and insubordination. So these these are the these are the the raffians. They've they've lost their will to fight. Right. They we'll, de they deserve to die. We're gonna teach them. Yeah. Let me. I'm just looking for the sodomy part. Hang on here, Zach. <laughs> I swear to God, I heard that. So it was not, on an episode of Spartacus or some shit. Like, yeah, so I'm not seeing anything about um, <laughs> forced sexual acts. That, that was the 10th guy. The <laughs> 9 got killed, the 10th one got laid. Forceful. But they were all into men love back then. That was like a thing that everyone partook in, wasn't it? I don't know about everyone, but it was more accepted than in more recent eras. Every, everyone's in, including you. How are we going to do without gay. men? <laughs> what are we going to do without men? Oh. Jordan would they have been... go and fight in impossible wars. <laughs> they have sex with each other. Every tenth man gets to blow the other one. Jordan is always talking about Western civilization, and you know, arguably that was the peak of it. So, gives you a little insight into Rome was mindset. the peak of Western civilization. Toxic masculinity. I, where have we gone since then? <laughs> Somebody probably believes <laughs> that. I don't know. <laughs> where where will we be without men blowing each other? Men, they're doing impossible things. I've had a man swallow my load like no woman before. Women can't, women can't deep throat me like men can. They take the whole load too, and they ask for more. They work themselves. To they death. work him. He works his jaw to death. And women wouldn't do that. I had never met a woman with so much cock lust as some of these guys I meet. Where would we be? So sad. 
Where would we be without men? Huge cocks. Just huge all over the place. <laughs> all right. <laughs> 20 of them. Jordan. Jordan. Get a hold of They're yourself. doing impossible things like fitting three cocks in their butt. That's this the is the gayest generation <laughs> in American history. Uh, where, how? Uh, I def I, uh, you can't find a woman to fit three cocks in her asshole. What do we do without these amazing men? You Beautiful. all got together to celebrate two guys butt fucking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess people get mad when I make the gay jokes, but I'm doing it as an exact uh, reflection of how homophobic these guys all are. You know? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense, Dan? It does. Thank it you. does. So I'm not homophobic? I, that's not for me to say. Oh, great. You're not going to give me a pass? <laughs> Who am I to give you a pass? Well, in your opinion, you can give me a personal pass. I thought it was funny. Okay, good. Am I homophobic? It's not for me to say. Who's to say? Who can say? God? Just say it, Dan. Come on. <laughs> Just say what? That he's not homophobic? He's yes. not. I, I don't think that you're homophobic. Thank you. No. See? Dan says I'm not homophobic. But that's my opinion. Okay, obviously. How are you going to give your, Many, uh, someone else's opinion? Well, this is the opinion of Jessica at home watching object, in Virginia. It, it sound, the question was being <laughs> posed in, a, in, an, in an objective manner, as if I'm the arbiter of all things Thank homophobia. you for vouching for me, though. Yeah. What would we do without Dan to vouch for, a, for another man? All right, Jordan. Jordan. Go off, King. I'd be lost without another man. Jordan, the question was about Jeff Bezos and PowerPoints. I, I don't know how we wound up on... <laughs> Where, what will we do without PowerPoints with big cocks in them? Every time you click to the next screen, Jordan. it's a bigger cock. Mr. Peterson, please try, try and the focus. The first one's a four-incher. I'm going to come... Respectable, but not not great. Or where will we be without the next slide? Five inches. Some say it's perfect. Dr. Some Peterson. say it's just too small. Dr. Peterson, get a hold you of You go to the next slide, Sir. it's six inches. Pretty normal. Standard stuff. Most people like it. Some some men say some men who consider themselves size queens like them a little bigger. You go to the next slide. You're size, talking seven inches. That would be a size king. It's a queen, Dan. <laughs> you go to the next slide. It's seven inches. Now you're getting into some bigger territory. Go off, king. Most people like it, but it's too big for some, and not big enough for the queens. You're going on to eight. Now you're talking cock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you get what this is Yes, yes. I got it like five minutes ago. Jordan is the new Godfather. Bit. <laughs> <laughs> Where would we be without Oh, God. Him? Cut the music. <laughs> no! Dan, you come to me and you tell me, Jordan's the new Godfather? How could you talk so disrespectful to me? There's no Godfather other than me and if you want to talk about cock I got a fat one that's why I get this kind of respect in the circle they know I got a fat thick cock that Jordan Peterson would love and respect Jordan comes to me he says where will we be without men I tell him you would be nowhere without this fat cock Dan why don't you take a ride on the lake with me I'll show you a little something about where will we be without men. You want to know something about men? I run this family. I dried everything for you. Everything here. I know it was you, Fredo. I know it was you, Dan. You break in my heart. Is anybody left? <laughs> I'm enjoying it. <laughs> All right, I'm moving on. You can come back now. Just give me a minute. One sec. Stand oh, wait. By. Stand by. He is getting into his Ava. Can you hit us with some uh, fog smoke? I got you. No, I had, I turned it off because it was uh, drawing too much power. That was what that beeping earlier was. Drawing too much power? Yeah. It's getting too strong. Compared to your fucking galactic uh, star uh, destroyer you're in right now? I wish I was in a galactic star destroyer. Hey, Trader. Can you buy me one of those next? Sure. Safe. All right, I saw this on TikTok last night, and I thought this was just 
So dirty, man. This is the most brutal rejection I ever seen. And this count. Well, let me just watch it, and then we'll talk about it. But this guidance counselor, whoo, she should be ashamed. Okay, come on in. Hello. Hi. You fucking asshole, TikTok. I swear to God, I I okay, can't do come this. On in. I don't know why it always Hi. does this. You want to explain to Alyssa uh, what you saw or what's going on? Wait, what now I we missed the beginning. You stole my heart out. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god. All right, let's start over. Mother of fuck! <laughs> I don't know why it does that. <laughs> like, all I'm doing is okay, using the trackpad. Hello? Hi. <laughs> I I'm trying to understand why it's happening. This happens it's, it's when you scroll up and down. When you scroll. But here, look, I'm scrolling up and that down. Why, why would that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think it's when you click on it and it's full okay, screen. Okay, come on in. Well, I there need a go. full screen. I'm running a show here. Hi. You want to explain to Alyssa uh, what you saw or what's going on? What I saw was you stole my heart, Allie. Shit. Would you go to the prom with me? Shit. Ooh, I fuck. don't know. It's a good thing. Yeah. Would you consider it? Would you think about it? But yeah, if you'll think about it for him, give him a yes or a no sometime soon. Shit. Okay, come on in. Bro, that was the worst, worst. This kid is dead. He's like got to move. He's got to move. He's got to change schools. <laughs> he needs a new identity. Why he needs new parents. Why post that? Yeah, who Ooh. posted that? The guidance counselor seems like she's the one that recorded it. Oh. She should lose her job. She should be banished. She should go to Guantanamo. Yeah. Straight to Guantanamo. She should, be, she should be decimated. She needs to be waterboarded. <laughs> decimated by her peers. She needs Shame. to be decimated. Yeah, exactly. Shame. Uh, Shame. Yeah, I mean, like, first of all, who would set this up thinking it's a good idea? And I actually do think she recorded it and put it online. Imagine that. I mean, was it a matter of he talk to the guidance counselor about how he was oh for insecure, sure and she was like i'll help yeah this seems like a bad idea like i don't think this was his idea maybe it's his mom or something would that be crazy <laughs> but you'll think about it you'll and she's what, let's watch it again hello hi you want to explain so the premise is obviously she got called in she thinks she's in trouble she doesn't know what's going on right this goon walks in she's probably never even talked to him she probably didn't know who he is he just Maybe. got like that weird boy's 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 crush on her, and she's like, "What the fuck?" So, Alyssa, uh, what you saw or what's going on? What I saw was you stole my heart, Allie. Damn. Oh, and then, and then, she realizes, I don't even know this kid. In fact. This kid's been following me home. He makes me very uncomfortable. <laughs> Would you go to the prom with me? Holy shit. And she looks at the guidance counselor too, like, why did you do this to me? And then, you know, this kid's poor face. He does this smile, but mm, I know that pain, boy. <laughs> you know that pain. It's like there's nothing. It's almost the most painful thing in life when you're a teenager and you get rejected like this. Yeah, I think it's the most painful thing you'll ever experience in life. <sighs> you know? Yeah, it's it's rough. What am I reading, Ab? I don't you? Know. I, I I'll get to that. <laughs> I'll get to that, Ab. Oh, what? This right here. He's like, I'm I'm dead. My life is over. His life is over. Here, let's go back. Because this is every, this moment tells the whole story. He says, well, my life's over, so I'm fucking dead. Yeah. Would you <laughs> consider it? Would you think about it? But yeah, if you'll think about it for him. Give him a yes or a no sometime soon. Okay, come on in. Damn, so crazy. Oh, boy. Yep. That hug at the end. Yep. Was that the counselor's idea to hug? Wait, hang on. No. Think about it. But yeah, if you'll think about it for him, give him a yes or a no. Sometimes. Oh, she said, yeah, no, yeah. give him a yes or no. Okay, come on in. Woo! But just think about it. 
He's got to like. Um, this is the villain story begins. <laughs> this guy's got to join the army or something and <laughs> move to Japan or some shit. <laughs> yeah, join a join an army in a different. He needs to join the foreign legion. He needs to, he needs to like, join the Space Force to get off this <laughs> yeah, planet. exactly. As far as way as possible. <laughs> Ethan, have you ever had anything happen to you like this? Like, Oh, rejection? Rejection to like a prom or a homecoming. Let me think here. I've been like, I'm usually, I, I, I guess I was maybe, let me think here. I've been rejected. Yeah, I've been brutally rejected for sure. Yeah. In high school, not that much. I think I was, I was lucky in high school to date the girls that I liked. But in college, I took some shots, for sure. I liked, I liked being bold. You know, I like these bold moves where like there's a girl and that were at the food hall that I always see that I thought was like cute and interesting looking, and I would just like work up the courage and I was like, I'm gonna be that guy. Right. So I go, I just go and sit with her one day. I says, Hi, I'm Ethan. I think you're beautiful and I'd like to get to know you. And I did that one time, this girl, I thought like, I thought for sure there was a chemistry. I felt like this, like this is gonna work. Mm -hmm. And she says, she just like, oh, hi, thanks. I have a boyfriend. And then it just, the sale was out. Uh, and I, I just, I was like, okay. And I just bailed. Uh, <laughs> all right, see, it's, it's awful. <laughs> that was painful just because like, you realize, all right, the way I just fled with my tail between my legs was just like so. Uh, I don't know that. I mean, I'm sure that felt bad. Uh, yeah, it I felt bad. But but you know, that, that, I mean, that, that, in the grand scheme of things, that's not too bad of a rejection. I would say. Let me think if there's been a worse rejection than that. I have I have one if I can, can share. Um, uh, you know, we want to hear it. So eleventh uh, grade, I asked a girl to. It was prom. And it was in our school's courtyard, and I played on the guitar "Baby, I Love Your Way" by Peter Frampton. <laughs> oh. So that was it was boldy, it was ballsy. Ooh, oh, baby, I love wow. your way. I was little fucking Romeo, you know, and had a whole thing of roses. And <laughs> you know, the the girl and I, I thought we were friends. You know, I didn't, you know, I thought, hey, you know, we we go with me to this dance, and she said no, publicly. And it fucking stung. Well, hold on. What do you mean publicly? Like, where did this happen? In our courtyard, and people were. Well, it sounds like he made a. You made a whole scene. Okay, wait. Let, let, let me break this down. <laughs> You're in the courtyard and high school. Yes. A public setting. Yeah. See, that's that's. You're asking for it, bro. Yeah. That's like the dude who proposes at, during halftime at Staples Center. That's that's a little much, but I... Uh, the Crypto.com Center, actually. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. I, I just said, fuck it. I wanted to go big and, you so know... So tell me... Okay, okay. So this is interesting to me. Yeah. So you, you have a, an electric guitar or a... Oh, it was acoustic. Oh, so you got acoustic guitar yeah. and then you have flowers. Tell me about the whole setup. Yeah, I, I had just basically got down on a knee... Tell me about my, everything, though. Tell me about what's there. So I see her. When you got down on your knee to ask I, her. The I'm front. like, hey, can I share something with you? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're getting ahead. You're getting ahead. <laughs> Tell me about the setup. You said you had flowers and stuff. It paint, was just a bouquet of paint flowers. Paint the scene for me. Okay, we're in the courtyard. Courtyard. It was kind of an overcast day. It was during lunch. How many people are around you? Shit. <sighs> 200? Hundreds, yeah. 200 people? <laughs> and, are, and like, how big is the courtyard? People are close by, right? They're not like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So oh, everybody's yeah. kind of watching what's happening. Oh, yeah. And um. Okay, so you have a guitar and a bouquet with you? Yes. And what kind of flowers did you get? There were roses. Red roses? Yeah, there were roses. Okay, and then so how did you beckon her to come to the courtyard? She was walking towards me, and I'm like, to my friend, Wes, I'm like, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And I'm like, hey... So and so, can I talk to you? And did you have were empty handed when you said that? No, I had the guitar in my hand. You had the guitar and flowers in your hand. Yes. And you said, "Can I talk to you?" Can I talk to you? And then I proceed to get down on one knee and start strumming the tune. Okay, so it wasn't you didn't pull her to the center of the courtyard. You just happened to intercept her there. Correct. Okay, and then so you got down on one knee. You started playing "Ooh, Baby, I Love Your Way." When did you give her the flowers? Uh, after the song, and when I said, "Hey, will you go to?" The dance with me okay and uh so how did she react straight up uh no i'm going with someone else 
damn let's go that's <laughs> fucking brutal yeah it was fucked up and then what happened after that did she walk away did you she walked away everyone laughed at me it was fucking oh shit. except for my friend who's like consoled me it made me cry to be honest <laughs> when when did you cry there or later i walked away and started tearing up just, How, that it, sounds dramatic how much of the song did you play I was going to ask the same question because I just looked it up. It is a five and a half minute long song. Did I How many it, verses did I, you get through? I played a verse and doubled the chorus and that was it. So like there's a couple <laughs> minutes of good playing there. Yeah. And do you, rem- do you recall the look on her face as you played? It was just kind of like, what the fuck is going on? Were you worried as you were playing the song, like, this is not going well? It's not going well. Oh, for sure. You can can get a vibe. But you you were committed. You were going to keep playing. Yeah. Fuck it. I I, it was ballsy, and I looked back on it and was like, oh, my God, that was so embarrassing. But, I mean, I think it took balls for a kid junior in high school to do some shit like that. Now, let me me ask you. Is this, like, a popular girl that all the guys wanted? Mm, Not really. Okay. That would have made it more cringe. Yeah. Not really. I thought we were friends. We would talk, and, you know, I thought there might have been something there, but fuck, fuck no, dude. Cam's asking, was it Kylie Jenner? No. It was yeah, not. I know. I had that same thought. <laughs> it was not Kylie Jenner. Kylie. Well, you know what, Zach? That's a sweet thing. You took a shot. You put yourself out there, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. It sounds brutal, though. Oh, it was horrible. Or, or did people goof on you uh, at all for it afterwards? Uh, there was, like, maybe a week or two of, like, just, like, <laughs> laughing and, like, <laughs> you got rejected. Yeah, I'm well, fuckers like, are too, they're too cowards to even take a shot, bitch. Right. I'm like, who are you going with? I'm like, I'm not going with anyone, but who are you going with? Exactly. You got balls, kid. Did you end up getting another date? Did you go? Junior year, no. Stayed, uh, stayed home that year. Well, I bet that Ouch. girl regrets it now, so. Yeah. Now that you're the world famous Zach the Sound Lad. True. The Mayo King. <laughs> Wearing this bitch in Teddy Fresh jacket. Absolutely. That's a great story. Thank you. How long did you cry for? Like a good long cry or like a small, or just a few tears? It was like an embarrassing probably five minute of like, what the oh, fuck did damn. I just do? But my friend consoled me and he's like, bro, you gave it your all. What a good guy. That's a good friend. Yeah, he's still my best friend. So okay. shout out. Right what a guy. Yeah. You want to say his name so yes. we can shout him out? Wes, I love you. If you're watching this. Nice guy, you. Wes. You're a good dude. Wes is the man. It's rare for friends to be that uh, empathetic, I think, at that age, especially men. Yeah. What are we going to do without him? What are we going to do without no. empathetic men? <laughs> God. Have you no. ever seen his cock, Zach? <laughs> do you know how long it is? Actually, yeah, I have seen his cock. Somehow I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 just I, knew. That. I didn't want to hear the answer to that. Actually, I mean, you're drunk and you go piss in a bathroom. I mean, we've pissed in some horrible places, but... <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Just throw that out there. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to continue my line of questioning down this? <laughs> no. If you if Please you don't. Want, Anyone else got rejection stories since we're on the topic? Mine, well, this sort of reminded me of a story I had. I asked this, it's a little bit different, but I asked this girl to a dance in middle school. And uh, she said yes. And then we went to the dance and I was too shy to talk to her the whole fucking time. Yeah. That was a fucking nightmare. Yeah. Actually, I had a, I did have, in middle school, I, don't, I didn't even like write that off because it's so cringe. But I had the same thing. There was a girl I liked. And then we were like, oh, we both like each other. And then we would like, it was, I would go to her at lunch, not say anything and hold her hand. We didn't talk. (laughs) And then one of my friends would be there and I would talk to him and she would talk to her friend and we would just hold hands and then leave without talking to each other. That is, I'm sorry, go ahead, Dan. Well, that just kind of reminded me, I, I dated a girl, dated a girl in middle school in sort of a similar situation our thing though was that we like barely ever talked at school but um would uh, pretty much exclusively our relationship existed on aol instant messenger oh yeah we would talk a ton on there but then at school it's not like we like avoided each other or anything but like it was like just super awkward and like you were just describing like at lunchtime (laughs) she would just be talking to her friends and i would just be talking to my friends and like didn't really interact at all this isn't like seventh grade or something so dude, you, know. you are guys are unlocking memories same shit with me dude am mm-hmm. aol yeah messenger. aim aim for AIM, sure we never talked down. me and this one girl i was dating we never talked we would we didn't i didn't know how to kiss for whatever reason she made out with me because she made out before i guess but we would only go to the movies make out that was it 
mm-hmm. never talked, nothing. It's so fucking weird to think back of yeah. like a year. Actually, that's right. The the first girl I ever kissed uh, was a similar thing. That that was pretty much the extent of our relationship was going behind the classroom after school and making out for like ten minutes and then just being like, "All right, bye." <laughs> it's so weird. Those those We're relationships are so weird. Yep. Uh, Olivia, you rejected someone from prom. That's pretty epic. I did. Also, hi. I'm, oh yeah, we should probably explain what's going on. <laughs> She's in quarantine. I'm. I have a little bit of a cold so far. I've tested negative twice and I'm going to keep testing. How are you feeling? I feel fine. I just have like obvious physical symptoms of a cold. Okay. She's stuffed up. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it happens, you know, it's uh, COVID's not the only illness out there. Olivia. Yeah. Olivia. Olivia. I've been listening to Olivia the entire time. Wow. Donald is tuned in, eh? Whoa. He's been listening to you. The entire time. Wait, can I ask you, are those Teddy Fresh necklace? Yeah, I asked Lena oh, if they're yeah. red extras because I love them. That looks great. Looks Thank good. you. All right, let's hear how, what it's like to be on the other side of the equation, right. not getting rejected. Okay. So it was like a week before prom, and there was someone who was planning on asking me, and they had set it up with my friends. And so I knew that that was happening, and that was my plan for prom. But then one day during lunch, before he had prom posed to me, I went and I sat down with this kid who is like kind of weird and he didn't have a lot of friends. And we just had a very normal conversation. But I could tell that he was like getting ready and like working him, himself up to something. And I think he had decided at lunch that he was going to ask me. And he was like, so, Olivia, like, will you go to prom with me? And I I felt so badly obviously if I didn't have plans I would have just said yes I don't really care but I I didn't know him really at all but I had this set plan so it sounded I think he thought that it sounded like I was lying and that made me so well he did so I said no I'm so sorry like my friends have this plan set up already and then I wasn't prom posed to that day. And that night, the boy sent me a bunch of like angry text messages. Oh, and shit. You got red pills. You black pilled a guy. Yeah. <laughs> See, that, 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 yeah, I never took it that far. You just deal with it. I mean, blaming the girl some black pill shit. That's, he's too what? young to be black pilled. It wasn't like, you suck, you're a bitch. It was more like, hi, I have a question. Why would you, why wouldn't you just say no if you didn't want to go with me? And I was like, no, I promise, like, I have something lined up, but I really, it, it, it was not that. And he just, he, <laughs> that's the it problem, was, you know, mortifying. Yeah. the problem with these guys is that, like I predicted in the, in the print, the guidance counselor's office, he doesn't know that girl. Yeah. He's probably never talked to her. Yeah, I empathize so much with her in that video. I think that- <laughs> so how does it feel to be, Does it, it's got to feel good at least to be like desirable and to say it no. Feels horrible. Oh, come on. It feels it amazing. It feels horrible. I mean, there's a part of you that's like, hey. Look yes. <laughs> but, but that happens way later. Right. That's when you're telling your friends about it and your the emotions are less crazy because mm-hmm. you just feel horrible. Where would we be without men? Oh, They're God. doing impossible things. They're asking girls to go to the prom. <laughs> Women are being propped up All by right. men. Anybody else got a story? Because we're way over for break. We got to go to break. It's crickets. Mm-mm. Let's say, let's just thank our sponsors. Exciting times. Thank you, guys. Not everyone at once here. Last call. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm so sorry to interrupt. We gotta go to break. Okay, Dan. (laughs) Well, guys, the holidays are upon us and it's time to lean in. We're talking about hugs. We're talking secret family recipes. We're talking about seeing the looks on your loved ones' faces as they unwrap their matching PJ sets at the same time. This year, MeUndies wants to help you bring comfort home for the holidays. This is your sign to surround your family and friends with comfort. While you're at it, why not get a little something for yourself, too? You know, me undies, shout it from the rooftops. Change the underwear game for me. I just have shit underwear my whole life. 
I think most people just have shit underwear. You go to, you know, a shopping mall, you buy what's there. It's shit. You don't know what good underwear does for you until you go pick up me undies. Soft, breathable, beautiful patterns made by the sustainable micromodal fabric they figured out there in the laboratory. It's unbelievable. The underwear changed the game. And that's what I live by. They've got new classic plaid and holiday sweater prints. MeUndies is turning up the comfort this holiday season. Their underwear, loungewear, and sleepwear are made of soft, breathable, stretchy fabric. They're ideal for getting cozy by the fire with a camp, cop, a hot cocoa. Make the whole fam smile with matching PJ sets or spoil your partner with plush robes and slippers. Whatever you decide, everyone will be rolling into the new year comfier than before. Sizes from XS to 4XL. MeUndies has a little something for everyone on your list. Looking for more inspiration? Check out their holiday gift guide for all things cozy and comfy. MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners. For any first-time purchase, you get 15% off and free shipping right to your door. Your days of fighting for your life in the mall parking lot are over. To get 15% off your order, free shipping, and 100% satisfaction guaranteed, go to MeUndies.com slash H3. That's MeUndies.com. Slash H3. What would you do if you didn't have high interest loans or credit card debt? Well, with Upstart, you can pay off your existing debt quickly and easily and start living your life. Upstart's the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment with a clear payoff date. Rather than looking at credit scores alone, Upstart considers other factors like your income, current employment, and credit history to find you a smarter rate for your loan. You can check your rate without impacting your credit score in minutes and uh, loans between $1,000 to $50,000. You can even receive funds as fast as one business day after your loan is accepted. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash h3 that's upstart.com slash h3 don't forget to use our url to let them know we sent you loan amounts will be determined based on your credit income and certain other information provided in your loan application that's upstart.com slash h3 two welcome back um ian you had a sh you had a story i think you should share it's a pretty good one regarding the rejection yes. or rejecting mm -hmm. yeah I had one that was uh, rejecting someone, which was out of character because I was a total fucking doofus. Heartbreaker, dude. Not, not quite. <clears throat> no, 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 no. Somebody loved your ass more than I can say for myself. <laughs> I was in middle school and th this girl, she was very sweet and nice, but it just, that wasn't there, the, the thing. But she didn't ask me out. She... Uh, asked her mom to call my mom without talking to me. Oof. And then um, I came home from school one day and my mom was like, we're going to go to the movies with this girl and her mom um, tomorrow. And you are going. Uh, what was your initial go see thought? Aragon. What was, your, what was your thought? When, <laughs> Aragon. Were you like, okay, cool movies? Or were, were you like, what's, why are we meeting them? I was not happy. You um, knew. Did you know? Well, when she told me, yeah. I mean, I I didn't anticipate it happening like that. But I was like, and she's like, we we gotta go. You're be don't be mean. Don't be mean. Oof, mom. Yeah. <clears throat> she's she's sweet. My mom's very sweet, and she didn't want to hurt any feelings. And so we went, and I was like anxious the whole time because it was just like two moms hovering. On either side, and we were just sitting there. Jeez, so you guys sat next to each other with the moms on both. That's awesome. Yes. That's epic. <laughs> and then the movie was awful too, so I didn't even get that. Which movie was it? Aragon. Aragon? He had his own movie. Yeah. No, 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 not Aragorn. Oh, Aragorn. Who's Aragorn? <laughs> it was like a. It's like about dragons or something, yeah, it's right? Like it's a like a dragon like, fantasy movie. It seems like they totally ripped off Aragorn. Aragorn. Now I'm confused. Whose name's whose? It's is Aragorn with an E. E R A G O N. Why did they, they they shouldn't have picked that name for that character? Well, talk to Christopher Poloni, the writer. That's bullshit. Especially if it's a movie about dragon and fantasy. I mean, that's such a Lord of the Rings rip. How dare you? Yeah, movie was was rough. And then after we, they were like, "Let's go to the arcade." 
It was That's an arcade fun. next door. Love that. And I wanted to go home so bad. And we went to the arcade and I immediately bolted and I hid in one of those like Jurassic Park arcade machine. You know, with the you close the curtains oh, and you go shit. sit inside. You went in solo? I went and hid in one. Oh yeah. To wait it out. That's good. <laughs> and she after about twenty minutes, I sat in there killing time. It was a big arcade, it was really big. She found me and she got in the machine. Nice. And I bolted out the other curtain. Oh no. Oh, that's very awkward. No social skills. Oh Ian. You I didn't was very clap young. those cheeks? What? You didn't clap those cheeks? Was I like was 12, in seventh grade. Bro. What oh. the fuck? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Just gonna leave the camera on you for a little bit there. Just sit in that. Bask in that. Bask in what you just said. I stand by what I said. <laughs> Even after finding out there are 12, <laughs> you can still take it back. Just sit. It's not too late. Sit it's there. not too late to take it back. Okay. But uh, yeah. Delete me from this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, very awkward. I felt really bad when I thought about it, you know, not at the time because I was a dumb little kid, but. Now I'm like, that was so fucking rude. Well, you know, we're not good at processing emotions at that age. And looking back, this has unlocked a lot of memories for me. When I would go on dates with girls, even in high school, I, w I was just, I was so fucking nervous and anxious. It was just like crippling. It was just so serious, you know. It's, it's, I wonder, I've been married for so long now. You know, I'll never date again, but like, I wonder if I were to date at this age, if I would still be so fucking anxious and worried all the time, if it's any better. Or if, now that you're more mature. Probably. You know, mm, yeah, probably not. It's but so, the, uh, the Rolls Royce might help. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the Rolls Royce? You think <laughs> yeah. that'd do? You'd this time when, uh, well, when Sam's mom called my mom, it went way better this time. Right. I yeah. didn't leave the arcade machine. That's sweet. You guys did the Jurassic Park together? Yeah. That's nice. It's awesome. What a what a heartwarming. Uh, <laughs> I love that. Well, that explains the jungle room. <laughs> All came full circle. <laughs> That's interesting. It's fun to go down these 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 uh, memories. It's just unlocking so many old emotions, man. I apologize for saying if you <laughs> clap those cheeks. You Way took it back. Late. Okay, Way no, too okay. late. You, you said I stand by what I said. Just I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> He took it back. Let's not hold it against him. He took it back. He came around. I take it back. Yeah, he took it back. Well, that was fun. Um, let's move on to our main segment here. This is pretty interesting. I think you guys are going to like this. It's a little left field segment. We thought, you know, the bathroom in our office is very vanilla. You got the toilet. You got the sink. You got the paper dispenser, and that's it. I mean, it's a run-of-the-mill toilet, but we thought, you know, what would each of our vision be for a perfect bathroom? Extreme makeover, office bathroom edition, all the freaking way to the T. We all each formulated and pitched our perfect bathroom. And what we want to do is show them all to you, we have lots of options, and on Friday, we're going to do a fan poll to vote who's got the best bathroom, and then I'm going to drop a million dollars to make it happen. No, I'm just kidding, because these are all like insane ideas. <laughs> I don't think we can make Wait. it happen. Wait, you're not committing to actually building the winner? Let's see who wins. Hmm. I've got a bunch of like five grand. Uh, I'll get us about... Can make that work. 10% of you the way so? on mine. It will work with some of them. On some. Okay, let's see. Within reason, I'm actually willing to to do it. I know my idea is like uh, probably cost a million bucks <laughs> to do good. <laughs> <laughs> but with that being said, if it's too expensive, we can just get like a gold. Let's just get a plunger and spray paint it gold. And, you know. That's a decent start. Yeah. Maybe Sharky's gift card. <laughs> All right, well, with that being said, let's roll our intro video, set it up. Hi, everybody. My name is Ethan Klein. I've been pooping for 36 years. It's almost a daily basis, I would say. I'm a serial pooper. That would, that would mean, you know, I spend a lot of time in the bathroom. Our bathroom is just not up to par, and it breaks my heart. 
I go in there, there's one ply toilet paper, finger rips right through that. The last time I got any play, you know, was when my toilet, when I ripped through the toilet paper and accidentally fingered myself. You know, I prefer to have a better atmosphere for someone who takes pooping as seriously as I do. I mean, from the day I was born, I pooped every day. So you could say I'm very passionate about it. So I'm really excited, you know, to, for this bathroom remake. I think it's about time we kick it up to the next level. By the way, I, 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 I kind of defamed myself there. I just want to make clear, we have nice toilet paper in this office, okay? I'm glad you said something because I knew someone would call us out. Because in dude, that video, when the finger went through, that was clearly not single ply. No, we have nice toilet paper. Come on, I'm not a fucking tyrant. Yeah, we got that Kirkland two ply. We actually have uh, <laughs> quilted northern three ply. Yeah, we got oh. the good shit. We have really good toilet paper. I may treat my employees like shit, but they get good toilet paper. For sure. That's a consolation. You don't treat our shit it. like shit. Right. Yeah, exactly. Fair. I treat our shit better than I treat our employees. <laughs> All right, so let's go from the top here. Let's start. Well, here's our original bathroom. Let's take a look. This is what it is now. Okay. I mean, pretty run of the mill. I mean, it's, it is spacious, I'll say. It's large in there. It's, it's, it's nice, normal, spacious. Pretty run of the mill. You might even say that that's a downside, though, because it's like cavernous in there. You think it's cavernous? Yeah. Like a man's anus. Oh, okay. We have a bidet, too. I actually used the bidet yesterday. Oh, fuck yeah. Coming around. I knew you would. Well, because I was having, like, not good, not healthy moments in there, you know, without getting too graphic. Uh-huh. And it, it called for it. But actually, it felt, it was nice. It was a nice experience. It didn't feel gross like I expected. Nice. It's a little shocking, like when it hits you at first, but it's a good time. It's now. quite a torrent, and I wouldn't say it's perfectly aimed, but it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it doesn't come right from the bottom; it kind of comes from like the back. Yeah, you kind of have to like lean forward you a little. Got to embrace it. I just told Zach, imagine I'm under you, like a fountain, <laughs> just going, ew, dude, <laughs> blowing into your ass. <laughs> By the way, I do actually have a criticism of this toilet, and I don't know if it affects you guys. I can't stand the small toilet seat that's like a lady toilet seat and i'm not i'm not like well endowed or anything but i mean if i'm sitting my dick is going to touch the top tip of that and there's yeah. nothing worse this is this is actually an elongated toilet seat that's yeah. tiny it's smaller than the bowl itself. yeah I, I, yeah it's it's not as wide but it's longer i became an expert because this is not longer you need we need like the xl big boy dan you agree with me i do it's too small yeah and again, I haven't, I'm like, I have to like maneuver to not it's you just, know, be rubbing up against the porcelain there. When it touches the bowl or the seat, it's just, it's not a good time. It's not good. It's a ball. Not good feeling. But anyway, here's our bathroom, okay? From the top. Obviously, we have some gripes. So, Olivia's first. Let's take a look at her dream bathroom. Olivia, are you there? You want to kind of narrate this for us? Yes, I'm here. Um, okay, so here we go. Yep. So, right up the top. Looking pretty good. How do is there a way I can scroll through these without? I don't want to like ruin the surprise here, but mm. this is fine. All right, what are we looking at? This is the rave room. Um, it is a silent disco experience. So there's headphones, and there's going to be a DJ on top of the bathrooms, like on the ceiling. There's a DJ that watches yeah, you go to the bathroom. Well, he'd be outside, but uh, like on the roof of it. Yeah. Okay, so we have like a full time DJ playing music. Um, unless someone wants to volunteer, I used then to DJ. Play. I used to DJ in high school. Yeah, here's the DJ view. Let's go down here. Oh shit! Okay, the party pooper. You have the umlauts over the O's. I've noticed. It's the party <laughs> pooper. Love it. And we're gonna have a bouncer even as well. It's like a disco thing. It, it could be Dan. Mm -hmm. It looks like. Yeah. So that's pretty. It's, it's up to us if we want to go outside of the, outside of the family on that one. So, mm -hmm. so you're gonna sit. You put on, you put on headphones. Right. Mm -hmm. You have a personal disco. Mm -hmm. Fun. I'm into it. All right. <laughs> it's a Euro vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Disco Yeah. It's a party in the bathroom. Yeah. The longer I look, Wait, the more the, excited is I there, get. Is there another one? Oh, no, this is just these two. Mm-hmm. Fun. What kind of music are we playing? Like EDM, house music, stuff like that? Depends on the uh, the tone of the day. 
could be happy hardcore. It could be yeah. uh, drum if and bass, take jungle. Health week, maybe it'll be a bunch of slow songs. Right. And the DJs are they take requests or do they play? They're just they they're professionals. They do their own thing. They don't take requests. They take requests after two p.m. I just decided. Okay. Got it. That's okay. the free freestyle after two. <laughs> yeah. is, that, is that Daft yeah. Punk that's DJ? Uh, maybe. That's me and you, Zach, and Daft Punk. Somebody emulating Daft Punk, yeah. perhaps. Cool, man. This yeah, one I, I feel like we no, could do. It's... You know, this one's doable, actually. Yeah. I mean, besides yeah. hiring a full-time DJ, it might be a little expensive, but... My yeah. biggest dream is to get David Guetta on top of that bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the families. <laughs> to that would be Aww. epic. Yeah, the, the Christmas miracle, David Guetta. How about oh, this? Yeah. When the when the poop hits the water, the bass drops. <laughs> oh! Foo, foo, foo. Shout out to the family. This one goes out to George Floyd. <laughs> Let's go! Foo, 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 foo. Shout out to his family. Oh, and I also want the soap to be a pressed Molly pill. <laughs> like, in the shape of it. Molded. So wait, the soap dispenser? The, no, the soap bar. Like a bar soap. Be, yeah. Oh, so you can eat the soap and trip? If you want to, maybe. Oh, well, yeah. Well, I think so the suggestion was just it looked like that. Oh, it just but, looked like but, a Molly Pill cup. I mean, it would be, a, that'd be expensive soap, let's be honest. That's true. I can get a custom soap. I mean, as long as it's not actually made of Molly. Oh, well, that's less fun. Well, that's what I was saying. Then let's eat the soap. <laughs> Have a good night. All right, this is impressive. I like it. Actually, pretty doable, too. I feel like we could do this for on a modest budget. Yeah. Like, I think so, too. Like a black light room. 5k Ooh. i think we could get here with the with the party pooper mm -hmm. with the lasers I let's bump it up to it. like 25 i mean <laughs> i'm i'm doing it on a budget dan i'm not you know what i'm saying all right we're doing it on a budget here all right congratulations this is exciting are you part do you like the disco uh olivia is that something you like i don't know like not even necessarily but sometimes going to the bathroom by yourself you're like you just want to do something besides be in the bathroom you know yeah it's, got it it's, it's your break time i feel that you deserve you deserve to dance a little bit exciting fun good it's good submission olivia thank you the party pooper all righty up next is ian's what have we got from ian his dream bathroom Ooh, going a little old school the old, uh, this is like the uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea vibe, eh? Yeah, little Jules Verne vibes. Uh, so you've got <clears throat> the aquarium uh, sort of porthole there with live fish in it. And then you've got the uh, periscope hanging from the ceiling. Uh, when you look in that, you can see the Los Angeles skyline. Beautiful. We're connected to the roof. Beautiful. Right. And uh, there's a little, you can kind of pilot from your from your throne there with with the steering wheel and uh, there's a little tentacle that pops out the toilet to you know give you a little bit of a better time if you like i that like that you? idea does the it tentacle be... clean you or is it yeah it can give you a little wipe little is it there for a mus <laughs> massage or a wipe <clears throat> bit of both we'll have settings like bidet settings so you could choose a little bit of a hentai vibe as well a little I'm bit with that yeah. tentacle little, yeah just, I mean, it is kind of, it's quite beautiful. Yeah, I think it's... And it's, it's actually, like, from a design aesthetic, it's kind of nice. That's what I said. It's fairly, mo you know, it's modest. I think we could achieve this with the budget. Um, mm, well, yeah. This yeah, one's a little more expensive with all the metal and shit. Are those doubloons uh, real? Yeah, we'll have to factor that in. Okay. Because that could run you up quite Which a bit. Which one? The doubloons on the right that are on yeah, the treasure Oh, the bullions? Right? Yeah. <clears throat> the yeah. balloons is it the balloon oh, the, the balloons okay the gold coins thank you dad nerd <laughs> you're not into pirate stuff what do you call them balloon no doubloon doubloons gold doubloons how about these nuts well, that didn't really work um i thought they were called bullion like gold bullion well that's a more generic i, I believe doubloons were like uh Spanish coins during oh, like okay. the uh, age of uh, exploration. Wow, your knowledge is uh, you learn something is every day. exhaustive. 
nobody else is like that. And every pirate thing ever. It's like, I'm wearing my gold. I don't know. I've, I've been watching. I've already watched 60 episodes of One Piece, and I've never heard anyone reference uh, the bullion or the balloons. Hmm. I've heard surrender your, your booty. That's it. I've heard of the balloons. Then. I've heard Thank, of the you. Balloons. Thank you. Thank you. You guys were holding no, out I, on I, me. I'm ignorant. I should have. But gold coins we're talking yeah. about. Thank you. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. We're going down. So this looks a little pricey. Thank you, Love. Love says two doubloon coins are worth approximately four dollars. Wait, those have a, those have a current value? <laughs> yeah, I don't apparently. Know. It's yeah. so, aren't they solid gold? How are they only worth four bucks? Yeah, that seems. I like, don't know. Maybe are you sure it wasn't four dollars like in the sixteen hundreds? Yeah, that would be a lot back then. It's twenty two karat gold. I don't know what that four hundred dollars today. Sign me up, bro. Four, if those are two bucks. Dollars. That sounds. That sounds. Yeah, four hundred dollars today. That's a bit more, yeah. That's kind of dope, dude. I miss the days when you could just cruise with a gold coin. It's like good cheddar. Just flick it at someone when you want to want to buy something. Sick. Should start being one of the those gold apocalypse guys. Yeah, nothing says I can't mint my own gold coins and what carry them around with a little pouch. <laughs> anyway, coming down here, this looks pricey. What is this, Ian? So that's the view from the uh, the toilet. Beautiful. Uh, you will have a big projector. Um, so this is essentially like looking at the front of the submarine and we'll have, you know, a lot of marine life cruising by, sometimes a giant squid. And you the the ship wheel will help you navigate. Wow, it's interactive. Oh, very cool. Yes. So you very will cool. be piloting the submarine uh, as you shit. Love this that. is beautiful, honestly. And sometimes if you if you shit you might see it float across <laughs> in the water. Oh, once you flush, you, it kind of you like You see the fish going into a uh, feeding frenzy over oh, your yeah. shit. You see it float <laughs> on by. That's very cool. Yeah. Well, wouldn't you be leaving? How does that work like physically? Because you'd be going away from the poop. Well, it depends how you steer, you know? You or how it exits the ship. Maybe we shoot it out the front. Right. That would be interesting. Shoot it right in front of the You navigation. can use the shit actually as a weapon to blast the giant squid to uh, get it to leave you alone. So it's that's kind of like a, like a mini game. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I think I might have shit my pants. Okay, Mike. Mike, chill. And then Here. this is the final view. Um, it's a statue of is that you. you? <laughs> no, oh, it does. It does kind of look like me, doesn't it? Oh. It's, I didn't, yeah, no, I didn't notice that before. That's yeah, you definitely that you. I mean, there's no oh, question about God. it. Oh, my God. I was just, I just searched beside an image. Wow. Weird. Huh, that's, that not is our, weird. that's not Arcadian. That's Whoa. Really? You didn't edit your face on that? Man, I don't know what happened there. That's kind of crazy, though. You didn't edit that's your wild. face on this. No. Trippy. Mm. Interesting. That is trippy. Anyways, though, I do want that statue. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I got to say, I'd love to shit in this bathroom. It's beautiful. I'd love, man, I'd love if some crazy casino in Vegas or somewhere made something like, I mean, this is, this is a real attraction here. It could be you. It could be. Could be. This could be you, but you plan. It could be. Well, I love it, Ian. Um, great job. I actually would really love to shit in this. Thank you. It means a lot. Even just something a little more simple, I guess, but like if you're at an aquarium and you know, sometimes under the aquarium, they have these glass walls facing the big tank i mean just even having a bathroom down there facing the tank would be pretty beautiful mm -hmm. yeah that's easier obviously we just need to build a yeah maybe aquarium. We, we can compromise with that yeah <laughs> first you need the aquarium love that yeah thank you thank you all right cameron cameron you have two parts i'm noticing you have uh, how, am i just open part one part two yeah you can uh, open part two uh, after the fact, let's just look at part one for now. Okay, Cameron so, is very nice. Oh, oh, thank you. Well, I agree. I am very fond of Cameron. Appreciate it. So here is Cameron's kind of getting a Trumpian vibe here. Oh, I, that's not what I was going for at all. <laughs> well, you're at the top of a tower. It's kind of like a ivory tower, gold plated. Tell us about it. Oh, uh, well, I mean, man, it's a corrupt description already. Uh, so I, this is something I popped up on my TikTok. It's an aesthetic called. Fraser Bane, which is based off of uh, the interior design of the television sitcom uh, Fraser, and it's just I don't know, just the micro style that popped up a lot in the '90s and early 2000s of uh, a sophisticated place to shit is what I was going for. 
<laughs> you know? That, of course, is, is uh, Kelsey Graham Grammer falling off stage. Sure oh, is. Awesome. Sure is. Well, you got the Space Needle in the back, so you're in Seattle. Yeah, because, I mean, that's where Fraser takes place. part of the oh, Fraser okay. aesthetic. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So and I, that's a penthouse. That's a beautiful view. Right. And, you know, it's it's as you can tell, it's a little more spacious. The toilet's in a different spot. So I, I thought we could knock down a few walls and expand out a little bit, add a little library there. You know. Sure. Why not? I hope that, uh, as you can see on the right there, there's a fresh copy of the New York Times. Maybe solve the crossword puzzle every day. Sophisticated. Yeah. yeah. And Very then sophisticated. If you scroll down a, a little bit more on Holy the expansion. Shit. Wait, what the fuck? Uh, I've been a little bit homesick, so I just wanted to, I was wondering if we could recreate. Is this uh, the room leading up to the Fraser building? Yeah. So I was hoping Holy we damn. could uh, recreate my favorite part of Boston and just uh, recreate the uh, Museum of Fine Arts's rotunda. Mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's that's my vision for the perfect, sophisticated, beautiful shit. And this is just one man's abode. This is this is wealth beyond the greatest kings of all time. I mean, we got the five percent. We can do this. Yeah, that's true. Genghis Khan would cry at the thought of a of a toilet this magnificent. Right. I do feel like it's going to be a little tough to get this in under five k though. Pricey. Okay, so, I mean, this is where the part two comes in then. Uh, I'm willing to compromise. Uh, I prepared a budgetary restriction for part two. Mm. Pulling um, that up. Here's so, part two. Yeah, my proposal is that we can get rid of all the Fraser stuff and just keep the regular bathroom oh, okay. uh, at the top of the MFA's rotunda. Is there really a bathroom there? Yeah, that's our, that's our bathroom. It's, a, it's the current bathroom. As is. Yeah. So that's great because I don't have to do anything. You just have to be in Boston. Oh, no, we, we bring Boston to us. Yeah. Yeah. We just recreate it all. I know a good marble guy. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Do, can you work for 5K? Yeah, we'll figure something out. Yeah, we'll figure something out. What we could do is like um, one of these set perspective walls, like a fake wall with a perspective. Hmm. You of know? this, of this uh, setting, of this setting, beautiful. Maybe some steps too, just to sell the perspective. Can we get one of those like stairmaster things, so it feels like you're going up a bunch of stairs? Like a little, tiny escalator with five steps. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. Awesome. That sounds like a lot of work just to go to the bathroom. Dan, have you not seen any of these? <laughs> well, just no. I'm not the work to get it overhauled. I'm talking right. about literally to, having to, to go up a stairmaster. Yeah, I mean that sounds like a pain. Well, it's an escalator. Oh, okay. Yeah, it would be. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, in that case, sure. Yeah. Beautiful. Wow, what a sophisticated take. Thank you. On the bathroom. Cameron was doing a fantastic job. I think he's a star. Trump is a fan. It reminds Trump's him of his own home. Big fan. Cameron's a great guy. Up next, we have Dan's. Ooh, this is very beautiful. Kind of magical, a magical moment here. Yeah, that's... That's a little bit of the vibe I was going for. So I mean, a little fantasy going in a slightly different direction than some of the ones uh, before. Although maybe more akin to um, Ian's, since that's sort of an old school retro science fiction. But yeah, um, I I just want to be. I want to feel like I'm at peace when I'm in there, and I want to feel one with nature and one with the universe, one with God, one with the um, Earth, the Maker, and one with Gaia. Yeah. And one excellent way of doing that is to just kind of bring bring all of those things into the bathroom. You know what's funny? This one's actually pretty doable. Well, wait until you see the other pictures. Well, because right now I'm seeing wallpaper, some, you know, prosthetic kind of mm -hmm. tree, tapestry, whatever. Very nice, though. Beautiful setting. Maybe if I can maybe have some speakers that's giving nice ambient nature sounds. Yeah, I actually believe, I guess... Let's go I, to the next one here. Right, it's probably not... So oh. this this is the ground. You're looking down. Right, and so while you're on the toilet, you have like a Japanese Zen um, uh, garden <laughs> It seems like a thing. schlep from the John. A schlep? Well, if you're sitting... Okay. No, it's like a meditative practice. You're, you're sitting there and then you pick up the um, the scraper thing and you kind of draw lines through the sand and then when you're done it'll have kind of like a shaking base that'll sort of like an etch-a-sketch oh. reset it because it's all about you know creating something and then letting it go like sort of making a poop exactly 
You got it. This is beautiful. The sounds are really setting me. Mm -hmm. I like it. I'd also, if we don't want to do nature sound, I would be okay with just a sine wave of the god tone that we were talking about. 436 hertz just playing continuously. Yeah. And yeah, just, just to complete the sort of um, zen vibe of it all, uh, a koi fish in the uh, tank. That's nice. I don't know if that's enough space necessarily. Well, they grow to their environment. So, you know, this may not be to scale. The smaller right one. Now. Yeah, smaller. a small koi. Okay. Koi's are expensive, by the way. So that might set us back. That's okay. I'm, not, I'm not paying. You are. So that's okay. Okay. Fair enough. Ooh. Don't be cherry boy, blossom. Man. Uh, this is part of the wallpaper. Um, you know, and also uh, the blossoms themselves will have a projector, like a 360 projector, with just continuously following uh, a cherry blossom. Petals. Wow. Yep. Beautiful. This is a magical spiritual uh, moment. Which, I mean, this is just me, but that I feel like that's how you should be feeling while you're taking a shit. So if I can be honest with you, this is, I feel like this is doable to an extent, you know? I try to I mean, keep it within reason. I mean, this is definitely doable. We'll just dump a bunch of sand on the floor. <laughs> well, <laughs> the know. mechanical device that then shakes the ground like an Etch-a-Sketch, I mean, sure, that a, might run a little uh, a little hot. That's but, a challenge, yeah. definitely. We could just have someone come in after everyone shits and reset the That's sand. probably cheaper. That's probably cheaper to just have somebody on staff whose job it is to uh, reset the sand. Yeah, this reminds me of like a nice, like relaxing, kind of like a Pirates of the Caribbean. You know, everybody likes that ride because it's so nice and relaxing. Mm -hmm. Now, now, Dan, if I wanted to shit on the sand, is that doable too? It is not cat litter. It's okay. it's regular sand, <laughs> and so it, it doesn't okay. work. It doesn't clump the way that you would expect. Uh, that does cat pose litter. a problem though, because if people start shitting and pissing on the sand, <laughs> that's gonna ruin the vibe. <laughs> I mean, that's a big if. I I want to squat on that sand, dude. I'm game for that. I knew you would fucking ruin everything, Zach. But they're going to be splashing at least. Maybe not shitting, but they'll be urine splashing. For sure. Well, we can maybe, you know, once once a week, once every two weeks, we'll we'll do a full refresh on the sand. Yeah, you, you're going to need to do that to yeah. keep it fresh. Well, I love it. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Really happy with how it came out. I love honestly. I'd love to shit in all these bathrooms. Yeah, that seems really kind of a peaceful, lovely moment too. I love the peach blossom or the cherry blossom projector. Mm -hmm. Yeah, super nice. Mm. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. No, thank you. AB is up next. What do we got here? Oh, what in God's fucking earth? I can <laughs> what I consider <laughs> costs with mine. Okay. Oh shit, dude. Now, okay. Now we're talking. <laughs> Okay, this we have the budget for. Okay, so if I may, um, it's based off of someone. I don't know if I should say their name. No. I'm not going to say their name, but it's someone that I dislike. I think a lot of us dislike. He looks familiar. The idea, and then you could shit in his mouth, basically. And then also, the only other addition would be a mirror, so that every time you shit in his mouth, you could see it. And you got to watch pride. yourself poop. <laughs> yes, you take pride in it as you shit Honestly. In this is hilarious and doable. Cost efficient. Okay, bitch. You know what? I am almost petty enough to want to do this. I knew you'd like it. <laughs> is this going to get us in TOS service if we make a life-size... Uh... No, it's not anyone specific. I mean, I kind of base it off a few people or one. Yeah, it's an amalgamation. It's like they several. say, any any resemblance to real life figures yeah, purely is... Purely coincidental. Pure, purely coincidental. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't... Listen... I don't want to be a go. hater as Here usual. Here we go. But, okay, you know what? The, uh, that that second one actually addresses my concern. I was going to say the bill of the hat looks like it would be cutting into your back, but by shrinking the hat, um, that actually circumvents we could figure one of my out. main concerns. And this guy's bald, which is nice, because it seems like he was trying to hide it in the first one. Mm -hmm. But in the second one, the hat's too small. You can see he's bald. Yeah. Right. No, yeah, when I was uh, asking Cam to help me design this, he suggested the smaller hat, which does, does seem more efficient, but I care more about realism. Mm. I understand your dedication well, we and respect your dedication mm -hmm. to realism. Um, I just, again, I, I do have some logistical concerns about uh, option A there. <laughs> this is great. I'm okay with just doing a I, painting as well. I it? honestly, I'm I'm ready to green light this. <laughs> Let's fucking go. 
We can have a Ryan Kavanaugh one, right, Nick? We'll have one be Ryan Kavanaugh and one this fictional character that right. has no resemblance to anyone in real life. Yeah. In my imagination. AB, now to flush it, do you like push the hat down? Is that the flushing thing? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I don't care about the details. I'm not picky. I just want to shit you don't in flush. this person's mouth. <laughs> you don't flush. It just, it's just and piss. Accumulates. And piss. And piss. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I, I don't know. Sometimes both. You know what? We should get two mirrors so we can see from different angles. So if we pee, I'm not that. I'm not that keen on the watching myself poop part. <laughs> you will be when you do it here. Wait till you're in there. You'll yeah. get a kick out of it. Honestly, dude, this is kind of fucking amazing. Thank you. And Ryan Kavanaugh is begging for one of these two. He's probably into that kind of thing as well. We have multiple bathrooms. Wait, what happens if he's into this thing? Then it's is that complicated or is it still good? Yeah, uh, I don't see that as being mm. a hurdle. No, it's not a hurdle. No. no. It's okay. If he has like a scat fetish. We don't judge. That's up to him. We're, we're giving him what he wants. Yeah. In fact, you might say this is a kindness. Right. Yeah. Deepa! Wow. I'm impressed, man. Thank I'm, you. I love it. What can I say? I'm ready to green light it. I wish I thought of it. Shit. With Ryan Kavanaugh. <laughs> Beautiful. Zach? See yes. what Zach streamed up for us. Oh, wow. Wow. Who could have seen this one come in? So this is, I call it rock and roll yoker chic. And yoker? Joker. Oh, jo oh, rock and roll joker chic. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And so you have Joaquin looking at you. Um. You have Highlander on a 50-inch uh, TV looping. You cannot change it. It's only Highlander. I didn't know you were such a Highlander fanatic. Greatest movie ever made. You only... like the long hair. You like the bravado. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's just it's just a badass movie. Amazing soundtrack. Like, you can't beat it. Um, I've created a mechanical arm that wipes your ass for you. Okay. That is coming down from the ceiling. That looks expensive. The other, everything else looks very doable, but the mechanical arm. Yeah, we'll figure it out. And uh, then you have uh, two Rolexes uh, next to you. You have a Kermit and a Daytona. Why two? Why not? Well, I mean, but why two? Like, either one. This is makes my sense bathroom, Dan. I'm, but I'm just trying to. They're, they're, his, they're his favorite. Or... Yeah, they're the ones I want. Yeah, but okay. But there's. Okay. So it's just well, because those two particular ones are the ones that you want. Yes. Because normally I would say either one or like a whole array of them, but two no, just, just seems kind of strange. Uh, to me. I'm very content with two. Okay, just but two. are you going to be able to like put these on and wear them, or do they stay in the bathroom? Uh, no, you, you. It's like when you go and taking shit, you take them off, and then like you can let them sit there. It's a whole. It's a whole. You thing. You admire them while you shit. Right, 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 right. Can you take mirror pics with them? Sure. Why okay. Not? Why not? And then what's with the John Cena un uh, un? So uh, that was added because it's Mao actually. Um, oh, there's a TikTok that's like my favorite TikTok. Ever. By the way, I'm sorry to interrupt. I just love how these dudes embrace the balding. Like these motherfuckers <laughs> know how to bald like no one else. <laughs> they embrace it like no one else in history, dude. Uh, He's like, I'm bald and I'm just owning this bitch. I'm gonna turn my head into a flying saucer. So that's on there because it's my it's awesome favorite TikTok. There's a TikTok. With that picture going around right now. Oh, show it to me. Uh, okay, I can. He would love to. He's been playing it nonstop, torturing well, me and Ian. Down don't hold him. out on me. AB, I'm going to send it to you, and then can you... Send it in the chat, and I'll, I'll pull it up. Okay. I got you. Thank you, Dan. Wait, Koi are only 150 bucks? Oh, wow. It depends. The show quality Koi's go up to 10,000. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Well, we... Not, I mean, Well, we'll get a 50 show. one. They're going to die every week. This is a show. We need show oh, quality. Oh, shit. Okay, well. Zach's a, I mean, Dan's a koi boy. <laughs> koi boy. That's right. <laughs> Undoubtedly. Well, let's get a, let's, let's view this TikTok to get the full experience of this bathroom. I'm sending it right now. It almost looks like a green room, like before Joker went out and killed the show host. Right. That's, that's the shot. Yeah. It's Got it. It's supposed to intimidate you and kind of <laughs> funny enough, scare the shit out of you. Um, so that's, that's really I, funny. That's what I was going for. I've never seen carpet in a bathroom. Oh yeah, so that's a bad. I mean, yeah, carpet in the bathroom is pretty rough. It right? keeps keeps your feetsies warm. I like the Ferrari red. It's very specific. Rock. There's just lots of water. What the? <laughs> What's that? That's the TikTok. I got it. Hold on. It, it, it. Okay, go ahead. Morocco de moto. Changsu gogor bang didio. 
That's, that's it. it. <laughs> that's it. Okay. Puts Zach, him in tears every time. Zach cries <laughs> until he laughs every time he sees this. One more time. That's it. Why don't we just create recreate that? That would be in my budget. <laughs> you but, showed me that to me like 15 times yesterday. When we called him out for it, we started here like in the corner. We could hear the sound playing. He started watching the corner by himself. Yeah, we just hear this in the distance. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Well, they. I like that they're they're taking it serious. Yeah, they're paying reverence to. Well, why don't we just create that? We can do that. If you there's, love so it so much, much. there's so much more, but that picture is giving homage to the greatest TikTok I've ever seen. Okay, well, at least I understand the shrine, the toilet shrine. Now. Yes, yes. So do you you probably get on your knees and pray before you. Yes, to what was the pr- proper pronunciation, Dan? Barack Obama. John Cena. No, no, no. But um, <laughs> in Chinese dialect. John Cena is uh, how you would say his name. Uh, oh, do you guys see that video of John Cena apologizing? <laughs> that's, the or- what it's from. that's the origin yeah, of all of it. Yo, what the fuck? Wait, that video is so weird. What was he apologizing? Can you pull it up now that I've gone there? He said Taiwan was a country. Oh, yeah, and China got cucked him so hard. Yeah, well, I mean, he wants to remain in their good graces because he's very popular there. And uh, the, apparently is fluent in Mandarin, which is very is impressive. He really? Because yeah. I saw the apology in, flu- in man- fluent Mandarin. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, damn, he's scared if he's apologizing. He, like, and- He is fluent in Chinese. Are you serious? Yep. John Cena? He's the real Mr. Worldwide. Back the fuck off, Pitbull. What language does he speak? <laughs> Probably Spanish. Spanish. Yeah, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> but Mandarin's impressive. It is impressive. Uh, that ain't easy for for English. It speakers. is not. It is not an easy language to learn. He's or so I hear. So that's why we worship him. Wait, does he really like? Could, do you fact check that he speaks? I, I'm looking at it. He is fluent in Chinese. How did he do that? Can you pull up that? Someone give me that video. How, uh, what's the backstory there? Why did he learn Chinese? He, I, I did me... he like live there? Did he learn? Did he do like fucking Rosetta Stone? I mean, what's the story here? Uh, he learned Mandarin during his time in the WWE so that he could help in the company's quest to break into the Chinese market. Dude, that is insane levels of dedication from John Cena to learn Mandarin. He's a, he's an impressive dude. Well, anyway, he said Taiwan is part of China, which like, you know, China's like imperial psychopaths. They want to take, uh, uh. Yeah, they want to take Taiwan, which is like I guess an autonomous country, but China says no, you're part of us. And he's. Uh, we should he's, note that the U.S. government also does not recognize Taiwan as an autonomous. Well, country. U.S. government could suck these nuts. <laughs> they don't. No, I don't really want to get into it, but it's a very complicated history. The the situation with Taiwan. <laughs> Taiwan also uh, believes that they are China. I don't know if you know that, but they. That's a hard sell. They're like, no, 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 no. You're part of us. Correct. I mean, that that is their official position. So, well, um, so what did he? He just said Taiwan is a country, and and then yeah, the, that's a big no-no in in China. Okay, so here he is groveling. It's awesome. You are China. 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 No, he was doing a press circle, yeah. I believe. Oh, promoting it, promoting you it. fucked up, John. You're going to find yourself in a shallow grave next time you go to China. <laughs> I, so I thought he just rehearsed this because he was like, oh my God, this is... I just uh, so no, no, no. He, he speaks Chinese. Um... Uh, <laughs> uh, information. You're getting uh, caught so by the ch- by the People's Republic of China so hard. Uh, uh, I imagine it's like this is crazy propaganda, right? Like I imagine this being like, I am so sorry for saying that Native Americans were first in America. Uh, we all know that that's just propaganda. The the Americans were here first and t- took the took the or like even now with like critical race theory, like I'm so sorry for saying that there was slavery in America. 
we all know that was just propaganda. <laughs> like he's he's shilling crazy Chinese propaganda right now. And Han Zhong Yao. Well, it's so, so, so important. I love and respect China and Chinese people. I am so, so sorry for my mistake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so very sorry. You have to understand. He's on the verge of tears. I love and respect China and Chinese people. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, he was due to lose a lot of money. Oh, yeah. He's like, fuck Taiwan. I uh, got like $50 million on the line here or more. That's oh, awesome. Don't worry, guys. He's just farming social credit score. <laughs> Alternate title, John Cena avoids execution. This is a better apology than Travis Scott's. That's true. <laughs> when it comes to apologizing to uh, Winnie the Pooh, you you better be serious. I said Taiwan was a country, but then I realized I was really, I really, really, really like money. Sorry, it's awesome. There's a second one here. He's, I know this is a tangent, but it's just so fascinating that he speaks Mandarin, isn't it? Here he is speaking oh, Mandarin. Ice I have <laughs> it's just amazing. His pronunciation seems really good too. Not that I know, but oh yeah. <laughs> Yo, the Chinese must be so tripped the fuck out by this. I love to talk to a Chinese person reaction to this. I am so sorry. Fuck Taiwan. I want to say now before you, fuck Taiwan. So I just looked it up. There invade are, Taiwan. There are only 15 countries in the world that recognize Taiwan as a country, um, almost all of which are in Central America or Carib the small Caribbean islands. Yeah, it's just politics, though, because China would, be, would just be like, well, if you recognize Taiwan, like they do the same thing about Tibet. Who recognizes Tibet? Uh, yeah, uh, very few, if any, countries recognize Tibet as an independent country. Yes, yeah, so... They trying to be like, okay, you recognize Taiwan, then we basically shut off the valve. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, anyway, back back to this. I just got such a tangent there, John Cena. What do we got here, Zach? Okay, so uh, behind you, you have a original Nagel uh, painting, which is a lot of money, and a you'll notice a full meat buffet. All meats. All meats. You want to walk me through this? What kind of meats are we looking uh, at? You got your, you know, your standard bacon, uh, sausage, uh, beef patties, maybe a little kebab. Some shawarma? This is, shawarma. is this the keto dedication? Yes, yes, I, yes. I, I'm not an expert, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that raw meat in close proximity to a toilet it's is not probably raw. a health code violation. <laughs> it's not raw. Also, it's haram. I wouldn't be able to eat that meat. Do so you notice? That's the, a no for me, the, dog. The pit fire <laughs> under it, that's what's heating and cooking it. But uh -huh. Dan does have a point because when you flush, they they do they know that shit particles. Yeah, all over the place. I feel like this yeah. is a, a, you're going to get E. coli from, from this bathroom. Well, Can you get E. coli from eating poop? Yeah. Oh, okay. Not meat, though, because we're cooking that E. coli right off. So you're saying as long as the meat is maintained at a good temperature... The shit particles that land on it won't harm you. Yes. You can eat them safely. And you can tell that the temperature will be um, well-maintained and exact with that very professional-looking uh, small, <laughs> uh A small gas fire, it looks like. Yeah, at Home Depot's finest. Um, Is there enough of ventilation? In yeah, there? this seems like a hazard, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. It's all good, you know. <laughs> I'm just a little concerned. It's all good. It's all carbon monoxide and poisoning and, and, me, and uh, other types. Do of you get a little tasting plate before you poop or after, or what's the method? Whatever you want, before, after, during. Um, I'm a firm believer, and you know you can you can sheet while you eat. So um, sheet while you eat. Yes. I agree. I mean, I, I done it. Yeah, it's 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 a vibe, dude. Catch a vibe. 
you know, you got that 80s painting. Um, and yeah, again, you got that for got kind of open flame really close to that original uh, piece of art there. Too. Nah, it's protected. It's fine. There's okay. more. Um, yes. And so the other side is a stack of JCM 800 Marshalls with a 58, nice. a 59 Les Paul, all original, and <laughs> Eddie Van Halen's Frankenstein guitar. <laughs> this is quite a bathroom, I got to say. Yeah. This is the closest to like a. I don't know what to say, but this definitely says it's very, Zach. It's it says very Zach, Zach energy. Yeah. It's it very says Zach. much all over the place. <laughs> I can't really point to a unified theme to tell you the truth because it's rock and roll. It's chic. Joker brain, baby. Yeah, it's it doesn't have to be. We're no judgment. I like it. You know, it's very Zach. It's it's very Zach. When we were going over these, <laughs> everyone was kind of like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Zach was like. Red Ferrari, red shag rug, <laughs> pile of meat. He knew every single piece <laughs> right off the top of his head. He's been thinking That's about that. That's awesome. I've thought about it. So, he's, yeah. a, he's a man that knows what he wants, and what he wants is whatever this is. It's love, baby. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. You well, know. the passion's there, clearly. Thank you. Thank you. I do appreciate that. Love that. I'm the meat chef. That's right. And you can be in my bathroom. Love, all the way from Sweden, yes, sir, is bringing us some cool, rustic bathroom looks here. We've got the Lincoln Logs, as they call them here in America. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. So, you know, I figured when I come to America, I'd want my, like, Swedish safe place where, you know, I could relax and kick back. So, and also spread the Swedish, Swedish culture to America. So, that's what I've done here. So where's this? Uh, where, where, appears to be a well, photograph of Ben Stiller, who I believe is an American. Well, that's actor. Just, oh. I thought you were talking about IKEA. That's a mirror. I thought that's just a mirror. Oh, well, I see. the whole cabin vibe, you know, it's very Swedish. You'll see more of the bathroom. Right, there will be more Swedish hints. Okay. This is you like got a, some Viking memorabilia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very Swedish. That's very Swedish. What is this? What's this? What's the Swedish regard for like their Viking heritage? Do you guys like proud of it? How do you learn about Vikings in Sweden? I mean, there's like the cool Viking, like cartoonish, cool stuff until you realize that they're actually like crazy and did a bunch of bad stuff. Yeah, the Vikings <laughs> but, you know, were brutal. Yeah, but if you look at, like, don't, if you ignore that part, they're kind of cool, right? Yeah. You so, guys learn all about like Viking conquests and stuff in, in yeah, history? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, they're psychotic, weren't they? They like trip drugs and just kill people and rape everyone. Sure, sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Wow. Homage to the greats, the Swedish greats, yeah. I'm assuming. This is well, uh, our one. king. That's the king of Sweden. Yeah. All hail Call the king, Gustav, baby. the 16th. You know, he's like one of uh, Sweden's biggest, ki or like biggest icons. And uh, yeah, everyone in Sweden loves him. Everyone. Yeah, everyone. Are you saying that ironically yeah. or truly? Mm. <laughs> ironically, I guess. He I seems like a goofball, that. though. Are these edits? Yeah, sort of, yeah those are edits. Oh, like okay. a meme in Sweden where people edit uh, like hats and stuff on his on him. Um, but, you know, he's not like like English weird royal where they do like fly to a bunch of islands and stuff. He's just <laughs> kind of goofy and weird. He's like, here I am. But he, he yeah. has like a lineage to like old royalty. Oh, yeah. A bunch of incest and stuff like that. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, but and, he has uh, he, he has no power. He's just a figurehead, right, I'm assuming. No, yeah. I mean, many people, like, complain about him getting uh, tax money. But, uh, I mean, he there's a lot of gossip and stuff like that. He, he generates a bunch of jobs. So I think it kind of equals out, in my opinion. Is, um, does he fuck yeah. like crazy? Surely, yeah. Is he I mean, married? He's king. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Lo yeah. Love, uh, forgive me, just take it back, like, a second. Did you say incest or ancestry? He definitely incest. said incest. Mm, incest, said incest. Yeah. Yeah. incest, okay. Yeah, well, I mean, all, all royals in Europe are incest very much. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. This dude yeah. is French, I think. Would Would you be I mean, willing to swap him out for PewDiePie, maybe? Sh um, yeah, sure. Hmm? Or, they, well, I mean, they, they can coexist, I think, yeah. Okay. Wait, what do you mean swap him out for PewDiePie? In what if regard? we could get PewDiePie in, in the photos, because it's someone I understand from Sweden, or I know from oh, Sweden. Oh, not in, in the photos. The Yeah, no. 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 The king stays. Okay. Yeah. Can yeah. I, we add a picture of PewDiePie? Maybe like on PewDiePie is kind of like he's he kind of 
betrayed Sweden. I mean, he's basically... No, 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 no. No, no, no. no, no, no. He, he lived no, no, in no, no, England. No, no. no stop, yeah, stop, he stop. He is still he, he did bail. Mm-mm-mm. He's, he's uh, putting in a good word for Sweden every time he talks about it. God bless. Yeah, Did the Swedes that's like true. PewDiePie? He's very, he's very free yeah, from controversy. Course. The Swedes like PewDiePie. <laughs> we love PewDiePie. <laughs> and now again, are you being ironic or serious? Serious this time. Okay, the Swedes are proud of PewDiePie. Of course, yeah. He's Pro- the biggest... Uh, yeah, we love him, yeah. Do you watch him? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I can't tell if he's serious or not. I, uh, I am serious. Okay. I like PewDiePie. Okay, good. Yeah. Fantastic. I do too, by the way. Just trying to understand. Um, Very good. If PewDiePie led a mutiny in Sweden, who would, would people overthrow the king in favor of PewDiePie? Oh, interesting. Um, An armed yeah, combat? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, probably. Interesting. Because, you know, there's a lot of people that don't like the king, if I'm going to be honest. Got it. But, hmm. but I Everyone. think it's okay. And then we're coming down. We got some kind of IKEA flag, some kebab. Yeah. What is going on here? Yeah, so we got the IKEA. IKEA is, of course, another. Very, we're very proud of that. IKEA is all over the world, and it represents Sweden. <laughs> they keep they keep all the Swedish names and all like that. So we love them. Got to represent them. Swedish flag. Mm-hmm. Oh, and we got we got a little stove for the extra cabin cozy stuff. Yeah, love that. <clears throat> What's this yeah. a photo of here? Uh, that's like a typical Swedish cabin. Hmm. This is beautiful. Th- this is the outside of the. Well, if this was a house, that would be at the outside, basically. And what's with the kebab there? You just yeah. Is that a Swedish? This thing? is yeah. This is a Swedish kebab because in Sweden, like Looks many people me. don't know this. In Sweden, kebab is like the primary thing we eat. Really? Like, no joke. Yeah, I'm not being ironic. Well, when we I eat w- a lot wait, of kebab, is it, is it is it's imported though, right? Like that's not a traditional. It's, this Probably appropriation. No, but well, in Germany, when I was there, we were all eating kebab too. It was Turkish food, though. Right. That's what I was going to say. Is it 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 it's like imported from from Turkey or somewhere else in the Middle East? Is it not? Not the food Any itself. Sports? He's talking about like the the oh. the, the, the cuisine. No, like I Sweden think didn't mid- yeah come have, upon guess, kebab on their own, right? Like they. they I think it's like we yeah, eat yeah, Mexican yeah. food here. You know, right? No, that's what I, I mean. mean if I'm going to speculate, I'm guessing like, because we have a lot of immigration, had a lot of immigration, I guess they brought it. Right. Okay. It just, it, there's a kebab shop at every corner, literally. <laughs> everywhere. I love that, man. That's great. When I, was and, in, when I was in Germany, yeah. boy, oh, the kebab was just, I fucking love that shit. So good. It, in Sweden, we mix like the kebab place with pizzeria. So it's oh, like wow. mixed. And we have kebab pizza. It's like the biggest uh, pizza in Sweden. Oh my goodness! Yeah. You guys are on a it's different level. And you know what? The city I live in was uh, uh, elected as the best kebab city in Sweden. Wow! Uh, what an honor! So, wow! So we put a kebab up. He's in right. Honor look, of your city. I googled Swedish kebab, and it's all pictures of pizza. Oh, what are you looking at? Yeah. Let me scan. Let me get a look at that. I'm hungry. Oh, that so you, looks bad. You, look, that does that not look terrible. Good. Okay, so Th- this this is not send us good. a good one. Yeah, yeah. but basically them. it's just pizza with kebab as topping. Yeah, and there's a special sauce that only my city knows. Mm. Nobody's the unlocked people, the secrets. I'm not even kidding. People <laughs> all over Sweden travel here uh, to eat it. Wow! Look, I, send me that. Send a picture. I need better. to see that. Yeah, I just googled my city, and this instantly came up. Here it is. And you can have a kebab plate. That's also very famous. Here's the real deal from Love himself on both yeah. screens. Oh, my goodness. That's the real it's shit? hungry. Now, what is yep. this sauce we're looking at? It's a special sauce. No one knows what it, what's in it. The fuck? <laughs> it's it's, it's the, like... Is it yogurty? Is it ranchy? What's going on well, here? It's Creamy? It's probably yogurt-based, but um, it doesn't taste yogurt. So there, it, is there cheese on this pie? Like under yeah, it's a normal pizza. Okay. Uh, with tomato, and then you have kebab, and then the sauce. And the yeah. sauce. Wow. And I'm it's getting hungry. Skinny, a thin pizza. Wait, is that thin. just tahini? Yeah, that's what I thought too. Ab, is that just tahini? <laughs> it looks like tahini. Is that just tahini? sesame seed oil mixed with water? <laughs> He's like, oh shit, they know the secret. And from lemon water. and garlic. Do you know no, what tahini no, no, is? It's not. No garlic in. It. Yeah, it's probably garlic, but uh, people like oh. try to recreate it, and apparently there's like. Pineapple juice, uh, hmm. uh, jalapeno juice. 
it's all this sauce. kind of weird stuff. Yeah, I, it's, it's called so Bernays. Weird. It's a close cousin of mayo, but with butter. It's delicious. Unfortunately, in Sweden, a lot of store-bought sauces label it as Bernays sauce, but it's just mayo with some spices, which See, is you, what you people need to usually put, put on my the city in. in. Here. Yeah, tell me. Uh, I, love's right. I, I'm looking around a little bit, and um, yeah, I've, I, here's a Reddit post from a few years ago with a bunch of people asking about it, and it literally the top reply, I've asked kebab places around town, but they all just mumble something about it being secret. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so wait, I'm the, how, what is in Junkumbing spice? We've reached peep yeah. kebab spice, people. This is like a whole thing about this kebab sauce. Dude, huh. It's so good. This is, this is a whole thing, huh? This plate, here's a review I found on TripAdvisor where we've reached peak kebab sauce. Four out of five stars. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? That, Why sounds, was that, like, not, that sounds like a five star. Why go here? Mm. Now I'm just reading pizza reviews. This is good shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are. We're off the <laughs> they rails. Said, they said the town of Hokenping has probably more pizzerias than inhabitants. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> if you go, do you want to go to Google Maps and search pizzeria in John Shopping? Yeah. It's going to be like to. everywhere. There's not 200 meters where there's not a pizzeria. So, do, <laughs> no you, joke. do you eat a lot of pizza? Sure. Maybe once a week, at least. Once okay, a week. So, here's your town. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> a lot of pizzerias. Let's fucking go, dude. If you zoom in, this doesn't even show all. When you zoom in, there's going to be like every on every street. Wow. (laughs) Here, let me zoom in close. Yeah, yeah. Here. And go up a little bit. The main seat. The main the main street. I don't know where the main. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Nice. And you go to the left. I could be happy in your town, dude. Oh, it's. (laughs) I'm moving Amazing. to Sweden, man. I didn't know about all this uh, kebab sauce. <laughs> I'm going to bring you guys some kebab sauce. Yeah, you bottle oh, that fantastic. shit. You bring it here. I want some of that damn sauce. Yeah. Fika yeah, but sauce. Th- th- you can't buy too much at the same time because they're going to be suspicious. You need to buy, like, a, you can ask for a big, uh, like, box of it, but they won't give you too much. So you will. Mm, that's awesome. Come back. So, is, do they have, like, a, they must have a secret society where they share the recipe. Yeah. I mean, it's super weird how their culture is because. All the piz- I don't know if this sounds bad, but all the pizzerias are f- like Middle Eastern own- owners. Yeah, so it's not Turkish, and the I, I guess they all like kind of collaborate and they keep it secret. Yeah, but it's a Swedish phenomenon, which is interesting. Are you sure it's yeah. not tahina? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Because they're this Middle is, Eastern, it yeah. looks like tahina. Now that they're, I'm finding out they're Middle Eastern. The Arabs are like, oh, say, it's say, just say, fucking say tahina. It's, no, say I, we I throw am, pineapple juice in I'm there, seeing whatever. lots of discussion there about... There ain't no pineapple juice <laughs> in that shit. There ain't no pineapple juice. Yeah. I'm seeing lots of discussion about how how it hit the the sauce hits different in Sweden, and it's mm. a big mystery of, of what the recipe is. So if anybody out there knows... Love, we should the, start one. Me up. We should start a pizzeria yeah. when you move here, love. Fuck yeah. Let's do I'd it, love baby. to. A Swedish-Turkish <laughs> pizzeria here in Los Angeles. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Swedish so friends. A good friend of mine came. He told me about Swedish kebab sauce. I've had kebab sauce all over Europe, but he explained the Swedish kebab sauce hits different. There you go. And he says it's not tzatziki sauce. Well, and it's not like other kebab sauces. I'm trying to find a recipe. The top <laughs> comment is I've asked kebab places around town, but they all mumble something that was the about. That I read earlier. Yeah. Oh. We found the same thread. There's a lot of recipes out there. It's hard to pinpoint the kebab sauce, but I make mine with yogurt, mayo, chili sauce, sambal, and a bit of vinegar and pressed garlic. Sounds good. Sure. This person said it's just tahini, so. No, I'm just <laughs> well, I'm just yeah, kidding. Okay, good, 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 it good, sounds good. like it's some kind of yogurt based sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking hell, dude. You got me all, you it's got great, me all dude. going crazy for this. Damn, I'm hungry. What are we doing for lunch? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, love, you, your, your toilet may be hungry, whatever that means, <laughs> but we love it. Thank you. Thank you for life. A little fika on the toilet. <laughs> All right. Finally, mine. 
I don't know how this one's gonna play. I gave them a pretty insane pitch. So let's see what came of it. So my idea was that it's like a space journey, okay? And this, this looks good. So you've got a lazy boy. <laughs> right. You sit in the lazy boy, you recline, and then you got a tube to put your dick in and pee. Or if you're a girl, there's an attachment. It kind of works the same way. You could make it happen, I think. Mm. Now, why the tube versus just using the Because you're toilet. reclining. Mm. I see. So the angle would be, yeah. No, that, that, that makes sense. Yeah. I thought that was a catheter. It sort of is. It sort of is. How big's your conk, dude? How f <laughs> 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 catheter. <laughs> I'm sorry, proceed. Is there like <laughs> suction on there? Or is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's got to suck, otherwise it just falls so out. So it sucks your dick. <laughs> it you does. Be, you have to be right <laughs> to use it. I didn't think of it in a sexual way, but yes, it sucks yeah, your it dick. Yeah, it sucks your dick. I, I doubt it will do much for you. It's just a tube with suction. I'm, I'm all in I'm sure now. Zach can get creative with this. Sure. And so are we all just sharing this tube in the office? <laughs> uh, yes, definitely. I yeah, can't point it out. You were grossed out by the communal bidet, but the communal dick tube is totally <laughs> fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you you give it a squirt of a uh, bleach or Clorox or something. Oh, yeah, you know that's that's sanitary. Yeah, so you you recline, you right. put the tube on your genitals, yep. and it's a full relaxation moment. You what you're facing all walls have a kind of TV screens, and once there's sensors in the toilet. Once the poop exits your butt, you enter warp speed. <laughs> right, okay. Um, you are traveling at warp speed through the stars. This is during the moment of pooping. There's the, the moment of cresting, the moment of, of uh, poop coming out and things happening. Mm -hmm. At the moment you've dropped your last log, again, the sensors in the toilet will detect that. And this is when you drop out of hyperspace. And you have to navigate an asteroid field. Sick. As you wipe. Because, you know, metaphorically, it's kind of what you're going through. So is it like a joystick on the armrest? To Like, how are you navigating? With the tube. <laughs> oh, oh the direction of the wiping. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, there's, well, like, like I said, there's sensors in the toilet. I see. So the asteroids obviously represent nugs that you're you're avoiding or you're removing but yeah i think it's based on the direction of the wipe and the there's advanced sensors in Fascinating. the toilet so you are you are navigating this minefield and as you finish and your butt is clean you arrive to a 10,000 wookies <laughs> celebrating your <laughs> Your accomplishment, and that's when you come, right? When you flush. No, when you flush. Uh, oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. There's no coming. This is purely. This is not a sexual thing, Zach. This was very creative. I'm very impressed. Yeah, this. I mean, everyone's was creative. This is kind of but I mean, here. like, imagine flushing the toilet and seeing like a hundred Wookies going cheering yeah, for you. Yeah, you know? because you know. I mean, it's not that. It's just Star Tours shitting. <laughs> I'm just realizing kind now. Of, yeah. It's just Sartor shitting. True. It's dope. But it's an interactive experience. Makes I like the interactivity. I like that there's positive reinforcement. You know, mm. uh, you probably learned that while uh, potty training your son. It right? definitely has a lot to do with that. Right. Yeah. I think that's entered my mind quite a bit. Yeah. That's one small step for man, <laughs> one giant leap for mankind. So this is it. This is my dream. I love it. I love it. I think everybody did a fantastic job. I'd really I be think, happy with almost any of these. You know, and I think every guy at one point in their life has thought about a pee dick tube, especially when you're in bed and you just think, oh, God, if I could only piss and not get out of bed, if there was some kind of tube you could pee in, um, that would be a dream. Yeah. I always think about it on road trips. like Dick oh, tube. Dick tube, yeah. Mm -hmm. Lena falls asleep. I'm sick of using vitamin you know, water bottles. You do that? There's been times. You don't just pull it. I mean, do you do it in front of Lena? 
She's knocked out. She never. She doesn't know. It's you don't pee happened. in front of her. No, I'll pee in front of her. I just won't piss in a bottle in front of her. In the That's car. what I mean. Oh you, yeah. You piss in a bottle in front of her, and does she know though that you do that? No, no, no. She's like, oh, shit. super clean. She'd freak out. Yeah, I had a feeling that if because what do you do with the bottle? If you you got a bottle of piss, what do you do with it? Just toss it out the window. No, no, I don't. I don't litter. <laughs> I don't litter. It's sterile. So I mean, Wait, what do you do with the bottle? It's you know, I didn't think this line of questioning would go this far. You did throw it out the window. No, I didn't throw it out the window, no. So I what go, do you do with the bottle? You, go, you throw it away at the gas station. You put it, you wrap it up inside uh, a bag. You have multiple what bags. What if she wakes up before you get there? You just say, don't don't go in the snack bag. Wait, bag? What? Playing. Bullshit, you threw it out the window. <laughs> Why would you want a fucking jar full of piss in your car? Throw that fucking thing out the window. I, you know, it would be less embarrassing to say I just threw it out the window, but no, I honestly didn't. I throw it away at the, at the rest stop. Well, Keeps it in the cup. So order. wait, has Lena ever, she's never seen one of your piss bottles? No, there, the only one time I can think of was we were crossing the border to Canada <laughs> and we were on the bridge and I went in the back seat and my sister has a Camaro. It was my sister's car. It was just me and Lena though, but it was in the back seat and I pissed in a bottle because I couldn't hold it. Amen. Uh, yeah. And she didn't. She knew. She found out. She no. She knew about that time because she was driving. You told her it was happening. She she was she was there while it was happening. Yeah, she knew why. Was she freaking out? Or she was okay with it. Uh, she was. She wasn't happy about it, but she wasn't like mean about it either. The thing is, when I, if I I'm afraid if I piss in a bottle, it'll be too much, and it will like because that's a bad situation when you realize there's not enough volume. Vitamin water. Expert. Yeah. How much? How well, much you if being? you're talking about like a standard, like you know, two. Or two like, liters? No, no, no. It's like stand, not two liters. That's too big. Whatever 20 this is, ounce, twenty yeah. ounce uh, bottle. Yeah, pretty arrowhead standard. bottle. Yeah, exactly. That that'd be a lot of piss. Still, I think you. I think you're good. I don't know. Well, the problem is, I mean, it'd be hard to fit the tip into that opening. Well, you don't put the whole. Not damn if you have a small in. dick, Zach. <laughs> or that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, you just put the fucking hole in there, dude. Yeah, but that mm. that's a whole other game in itself. I mean, like you gotta, I don't. Got to get the aim right. And, you know. I was just afraid of being stopped by like the Canadian uh, Border Patrol and like them searching the car because they do that a lot when you call, cross from Detroit. And, Did you drip at all? Uh, <laughs> I hope not. My sister doesn't deserve that. I don't recall though. Mm-hmm. There's an. It, it's. I mean, let's be real. It's gonna happen. At least a little bit, like splash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a dangerous game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My God. I just peed in my basement. <laughs> well, a good one is a gu- is a Gatorade bottle. You could stick the whole. You could get. They got that whole, big the yeah, whole oh, yeah, junk yeah, yeah. in there. More, right? yeah, yeah. That's know, the way to go. Brisk iced tea. You know those brisk, big those ass are, fucking glass hole. Great fucking bottle. Right. Yeah. You want to be doing it with those glass Coke bottles though. Pretty nah. disgusting though. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you have it. There you have it. Learned a lot about everyone. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna set up a poll. Yep. On Friday, we're going to vote for who made the best bathroom, and then well, I will... We, we should start the poll now. We should put it in the description of this episode. Sure. Good idea. And then we can keep encouraging people on Friday to go vote in that same poll. And we'll announce the winner on Friday. Right, yeah. Very exciting. Very Roll exciting. it. Roll it. Well, um, believe it or not, we're pretty much out of time. That is unbelievable. We've yeah. been having way too much fun. Yep. I didn't get to bowling alley memes. Maybe we can do this on Friday because I love this. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We're going to have to. And Drake at the strip club. That was such a good story. Uh, Ela seemed pretty interested in that story, so maybe we can present it to her. God, we, we, we have so much stories it. left. Okay, well, we're, we're going to get all to this on Friday. We'll have a great big show for you guys on Friday. Get back on the rails, Ethan. I'm, 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 <laughs> He's working I'm on it. I'm back on the rails. Don't worry. I mean, technically, we do have a few minutes left, but I don't know if it's enough time to do it. It's actually story. later, eh? Shit, it's 5 o'clock. Fuck. Yes, Is that sir. real? Oh, my God. 4.45. Yeah, I got to wrap it up here. But we're going to have a big old juicy episode for you guys tomorrow. Or, well, no, not tomorrow, on Friday. On Friday. Yeah. It'll be tomorrow. Right. Tomorrow, when this episode goes out. It's right. very confusing. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Thank you to all of our members, people who become members, get this episode a day early, and you get access to exclusive content, BTS, behind the scenes, one video a week. Oh, New yeah. BTS is really good. AB's saying he's hyped up about it. Mm-hmm. When are you posting that? Uh, so... I'm done with it now, but we're going somewhere tomorrow night that I may want to include in there. I don't know if I should spoil it, but... Oh, yeah. The, oh, yeah. yeah, you should include that. Yeah, definitely. That'll be good content. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Fun. Great. That's awesome. Thank you, AB. Great job on that. Thank you. Lots of good feedback on the last BTS that was for members only. Definitely. Yeah. Thank Fun you, guys. Okay, well, um, thank you, guys. It's been a joy. It's been a treat. It's been a treasure. Lots of highs, lots of lows. John Cena reshooting the beginning. How long ago was that? <laughs> that, that yeah, that a, was a lifetime ago. That was a low. The back. Low, low, low. The rejection. It's all here. Off the rails. Number 19. Beautiful stuff. God bless you. Bye bye.